That after life should have you curious. Each week that weak speech should have you furious. The same old same, all hell, king such and such. You say hell, I say hell, get off his much to be desired. Chutzba should be fire, let's rouse the believers. Situations dire. I'm um, oh, yum yum the podcast. I'm oh, yum yum the podcast. We put cooper and shirt on blast. I'm um, oh, yum yum the podcast. You claim Salafia, we follow the Salaf in understanding, but without the branding of law. Name us Muslim with that, we stay content. No division is titles, egos a false idol. A mustard seed of kibber can land you in the fire. Plus, that his beer is fueled by desires. Question, aren't y'all tired of dividing slaughter? May Allah grant us guidance. Shout out to the martyrs. I'm Uyam Yam the podcast. I'm Uyam Yam the podcast. Put Kufur and Shirk on blast. I'm hey. Uyam Yam the podcast. I'm Uyam Yam the podcast. I'm Uyam Yam the podcast. We put Pitna and Dool on blast. I'm Uyam Yam the podcast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. We put Kufur and Shirk on blast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. We put Kufur and Shirk on blast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. Peep this, your grave, you may be near it. Life's short, yeah, that part, so take it serious. Think twice that after life should have you curious. Each week that weak speech should have you furious. The same old same, all hell, king such and such. You say hell, I say hell, get off his much to be desired. Chutzba should be fire, let's rouse the believers. Situation's dire. I'm um, oh, yum, yum, the podcast. The podcast. I'm um, oh, yum, yum, the podcast. The podcast. Put Cooper and Shirk on blast. I'm hey. um, Yum the podcast. The podcast. I'm um, Yum Yum the podcast. The podcast. I'm um, Yum Yum the podcast. The podcast. We put Pitna and Dool on blast. I'm hey. um, Yum Yum the podcast. The podcast. You claim Sully. We follow the Salaf in understanding, but without the branding of law. Name us Muslim with that, we stay content. No division is titles, egos a false idol. A muscle seed of kibber can land you in the fire. Plus, that his beer is fueled by desires. Question, aren't y'all tired of dividing slaughter? May Allah grant us guidance. Shout out to the martyrs. I'm um, oh, Yum Yum the podcast. I'm um, oh, Yum Yum the podcast. The podcast. Put Cooper and Shirk on blast. I'm hey. um, Yum the podcast. The podcast. I'm um, Yum the podcast. The podcast. I'm um, Yum Yum the podcast. The podcast. We put Pitna and Dool on blast. I'm hey. um, Yum the podcast. The podcast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. We put Cooper and Shirk on blast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. We put Cooper and Shirk on blast. I'm O Yum Yum the podcast. Peep this, your grave, you may be near it. Life's short, yeah, that part, so take it serious. Think twice that after life. I'm not sure to you two.
Alright. Assalamu alaikum. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to Amu Yum Yum the podcast where we seek to cure the kufr infected by injecting the Islamic, Islamic perspective. perspective. I am your host, Amu Yum Yum, minus the Kufi. Uh, Jeremiah's fault. <laughs> Speaking of Jeremiah, we can go right to left. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to uh, the, uh, <laughs> back from the feminist militia. Uh, the tactical? <laughs> yeah, ta- tactical uh, feminist militia. <laughs> Is uh, Amu Amir, alhamdulillah. <laughs> because of Coach Karim, he's sitting. <laughs> then, then, then uh, of course, to my left, the Amu you love to hate, Amu Yusuf, and Amu Jeremiah, alhamdulillah, reoccurring uh, permanent staples, inshallah, for the rest of the podcast life. Uh, mashallah, add quality to the show. Inshallah. Appreciate it, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. And we also have a guest in the, our show today, Coach Karim. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Awesome, awesome. Yes, sir. Okay. Alhamdulillah. All right. All right, so Assalamu alaikum, Yafi. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. 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 So, I'm sorry, just give us a few minutes because we're trying to figure out how to... Uh... No, no, he's trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We, okay? <laughs> this is easy. Yeah, he's All right. trying to figure out stuff. Okay, so how do you do it on the, on the corner? Let's see. Well, well you, got, you got options. No, no. Bring that down. This is so unprofessional. No, oh, no. Put, put, put your cursor here. It's going to give you options. What to do. You got to drop that. Yeah. It gives you options. What no, is no. That? Don't add a guest, but you got to... You can go left corner. I don't see left corner. Actually. Look, it's the guest, us, and the camera. Okay. You messed it up. Right there. Go ahead, right there. Yeah. No, right, right there. Right there. The blue That's what I was doing. No, no, you wouldn't. This one, right? Yeah, <laughs> this one here? Yeah. You can, you can move it around. Go ahead. Click whatever you want to click. It'll give you the I'm option. Live, guys, because uh, on YouTube, I'm not like seeing uh, the live one. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Uh, we don't know who to blame, but you I'm know, I, I, I would put my money here. You know, <laughs> like, like open your YouTube. You, 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 I cannot see it is live. Look, there's, listen, listen. There is a left and right. That's the only option. What is the corner option? Like the one that goes to the well, corner. You, you have it up here. Add left, add right. Yeah, but, but there's no corner. Well, it should be, it should be one where well, you can shrink. You can actually grab it and, and should be able to grab it and uh, shrink it. We're live on Facebook only. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, so this is this is too much. Uh, yeah, Annie, it's too much. Uh, you guys are not helping, to be honest. I'm I'm, I'm asking like it's just, supposed to be in the corner. What do you mean? What is the option for the corner? I don't see I don't see the, the corner option. Okay. Will it let you drag it? No. No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Ne- nevertheless, uh, <laughs> nevertheless, uh, let's go with. Uh, we're gonna start with the disclaimer as always. Inshallah, Should to we Allah. end the live and go relive. No, 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 we don't end the live. Well, uh, but I don't know why. I, 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 I love that suggestion. Say the. Uh, <laughs> let, let, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go with the disclaimer. Inshallah. <laughs> really quick, we're gonna do the disclaimer. Inshallah. All right, once again, this is the time. There we go. All right, come on, go ahead, read it, man. In Malayalam. No, uh, Amir. On, on I can't see it from this uh, angle. No, no, we are actually on Facebook. I don't know. I don't know why it's not popping up on you on uh, on YouTube. I don't know why, but right now uh, we're supposed to read the disclaimer. My guys, you guys are like betas. Anyway, the opinion of Amu Yami of the podcast is based on Islam. Our intentions are to be correct. However, we may not always be right. Others may have different concept, but these, these are, are ours. ours. Okay, let's get back right here. Okay, Amalish, uh, go ahead. So, so as always, we start we start with a certain format really quick. We start, uh, and, and Yusuf is doing all this tactical stuff, you know, but uh, <laughs> he really shouldn't. He really shouldn't. He really, just do the show. Do the show. <laughs> right, go worry about YouTube, it's not going to happen, inshallah. It, it'll come on after the fact, inshallah. Uh, but but it should, Restream should be putting it on YouTube right now. So I don't understand. But nevertheless... Let's go with the random. There's, there's, there's an option, guys, before you set up the mm-hmm. schedule, like, like when, when, on how many platforms you want to uh, yeah. you want to podcast. You have to check YouTube, uh, Facebook, and all your and, 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 yeah. Platforms. And that's and that's what we did. Uh, so if if I if I go to the schedule right now, it shows YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. There's two of the Facebook. And uh, but I don't know why then it's then not. Then it is a software. Then it is a software issue. It's not yeah. Your yeah. 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 Alhamdulillah. 
Yeah. So first, so, uh, time, first time we're, we're scheduling for the first time. So you see, there you go. You see that? Uh, yeah. See, it's still it's actually still sending to YouTube right yep. now. Yeah. Sending the they, data. They say it's still sending uh, to YouTube. Okay. Uh, okay. What what is the double option we're doing here? It got twice. Uh, this it's one. It's actually okay. online. For, yeah. That's, uh, that's Twitter. That's, that's okay. Yeah. So okay, yeah. yeah. So it, it might take a while for the for to hit to YouTube, but as far as the Facebook, the personal and the Facebook page and Twitter, it's it's live there. Everything else is on except for YouTube. Yalla yeah, bismillah. Yeah. So Coach Karim was correct. It's so just a software issue. Yalla. Mm -hmm. Allah. Yalla. Yeah, let's go. So anyway, good to have you, Akhi. So this is Coach Karim. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. You right? must welcome, guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> All the support for our brothers, huh? Yeah, ma mashallah. Uh, could you give us a short, uh, we'll give the audience a short uh, about yourself, synopsis right? about yourself, inshallah. Yeah, I'm Coach Karim. Like basically, I'm life coach. Uh, I have a certificate of life coaching and consultation, two certificates actually from from Oxford University. Uh, I've been doing uh, podcasting and uh, content creating on YouTube since almost one and a half year, and I'm writing articles, blogs since around five years about this intersectional dynamic. Also under the Islamic umbrella. So uh, we do not follow uh, the Western uh, ideology narrative. Uh, my expertise is, uh, uh, is actually counseling men going through their problems with the other gender and in life in general. I'm doing that since like three or four years, over than like 100 clients almost, uh, with uh, around 200 to 300 uh, hours of consolation. Uh, I have my uh, uh, my website, which is redfellarabic.com, my channel, which is redfellarabic.com, and Telegram channel, also redfellarabic.com. Coach Karim, you can find me on, uh, on Twitter. Uh, and you can uh, book a consultation through Zadpol application. It's an expert counseling application. You'll find me under the psychiatry category. And here we go. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. All right. All right. So... Uh, Keeping with the format, Yusuf, I'm, I'm waiting on you. Inshallah, random. We're, we're gonna go into random. Random is just to, 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 to wet the tongue, loosen up, you know, just not even pertaining to the topic itself. So, uh, my random is. Uh, random, brother. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> brother. Especially with the sweater right here. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> so, Get off me, man. Uh, uh, Get off me, man. Le lesbian tactical sweater. <laughs> you got it all right here. <laughs> Why y'all touching it? But, but you know we're talking about femininity right now, so alhamdulillah you brought the sweater. Yeah. Say, uh, but the random is my theory about Martin Luther King Jr. and his assassination, Memphis, Tennessee, Lorraine Motel. Okay. He was on he was on the second floor balcony. Yeah. With Jesse Jackson and this other guy. Okay. Who's the other guy? Uh, some reverend, some other reverend. Not important. You no, know, okay. not really important. Okay. James Earl James Earl Ray. Okay. They say he took the shot, right, to shoot MLK. My theory, they were not trying to shoot MLK. They trying to get Jesse? I think they were trying to get Jesse. Wow. But MLK has his really big head. <laughs> <laughs> and he, they, they couldn't miss him. Jesse I a, saw it. they Jesse made got a big head, too. No, no, no. Not that Without, big. Without, because he yeah, lost yeah, yeah. weight, his head yeah. is but, but, so, so you were saying, I'm, 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 uh, what is it? I passed, by, I passed by the head? MLK statue. In San Antonio, on the east side, mm -hmm. and the head <laughs> is so massive, I started thinking, perhaps he was not the target. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Call him, I do the game with a big head. It's almost genius. It's almost genius. Think about it. It's almost genius. Did you have a dream when you were thinking? No, no I don't have dreams. <laughs> what do you mean, I, I'm, dreams? I'm on a strict nightmare diet, <laughs> but go ahead. Uh, so that's my random. I don't think MLK was the target for James O'Reilly. Okay. Well, James Earl Ray. Yeah. James Earl Ray was a shooter. Okay, James Earl. Yeah. So, okay. so I don't, I don't think he was the actual target. I think that his head was. He's like, just take the shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> there, there, there we go. You know. <laughs> like I was watching the Patriot. Aim small, miss small. Yeah. <laughs> Aim small, miss small. Yeah. So anyway, that's my random. Humbly <laughs> okay. So. Wow. Wow. That's that's that. I don't know what's so. Hey, hey, it's Dunny. 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 Oh. It's Dunny. Yeah, it's yeah. done. It's not. It's not not It's not It's a doubtful origin. It's not definite. Okay. So that's just my. You know, I, I saw the statue and I was like, "Here's my theory." Yeah, I, I think your theory is lame. You, 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 yeah. <laughs> All 
right. <laughs> that's a massive head, man. But anyway, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's All go. Right. Sure. What's popping? What's popping is the hot topic. We talked last week about masculinity, right? Yeah. And it's it's only natural that this week we will balance it with femininity. femininity. And we talked about the Quranic perspective of it. Okay. Yeah. But but we're going to get into the professional definition of femininity. Or but right now rather. we're going to get the beta definition. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. What, what, when you hear femininity, what, what do you think? When I hear femininity, I think about the physical characteristics and then the uh, personality traits that are associated as well. So like the physical characteristics, obviously uh, someone who is a woman, you know, you don't have femininity existing. Biological woman? Bio no, just, mm -hmm. yeah. No, no. <laughs> like, no. Okay, that's the trick. <laughs> what do you mean no? It's a trick question. <laughs> Those days, they say uh, people with vagina, they just say woman. No, yeah. no, no, hey, hey, oh, yeah. that's also subjective. Yeah. B because today that? they chop, they split, <laughs> they, they rip it apart, and they, and they sprinkle <laughs> they sprinkle pixie dust on it. That would be woman. Biological, a biological woman, <laughs> femininity cannot exist He's outside so confused. of that. Outside of a biological. Yeah. If it's So could a, could a man be feminine? Yes, but so it's, that, no. Check you this just out. Check your own this theory. out. No, no, no. no, no. Wait, check wait. this out. A man can can uh, can act feminine, but he's not being feminine because it's still within a masculine like uh, uh, software. You know, so a man can have feminine traits, but he's not feminine himself. With all due respect, man inherently With all is respect, masculine. No. What do you think about when you hear femininity? Femininity. It's the opposite of masculinity. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's balance. Uh, there's balance, that's balance, but 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 you think about it. When a woman is acting masculine, she's not acting like how men act when they are acting masculine. Yeah, it's yeah, she, it's she, she is. Yeah, she's she's, she's, she's attempting different. to emulate. No, no, no. She's she, no, no, emulating no. masculinity. No, no. What you're seeing. This is why dudes get beat up by homosexuals. They're really? looking at somebody that's acting feminine, right? They're looking yeah. at somebody that's acting not at, feminine. True femininity. But, but guess that's what? what I'm he still got man knuckles mm. and big man feet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and got man muscles and upper body strength and shoulders. So when that thing hits you, you know you're not, you're not going to get a woman it's, punch. It's a man hitting you. So, okay. so that's, that's that's why men, what what natural men, underestimate those pretending to be female. They underestimate. That's why they get beat up a lot. It seems to me like there are aspects of femininity, femininity that you can act and like and. Uh, so it's a behavior. But then there's some that you can't. Like the physical attributes of femininity, you can't copy that. They but, copy it all the time. It's called surgery. No, I'm saying that like <laughs> not it's, not, it's not the same. They're attempting to. Mm. Like, I oh, can't, oh, 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 you can't okay, copy okay. But, but look, look. The, the, the I, I know, I know the, women that have Adam's apple. Look it up. Some women have Adam's apple. Okay, so... At, at, at first... You know, <laughs> I, I thought it was a dude. I thought it was a dude okay, with, the, a, with the ostrich neck. You know what that, I'm saying? That's a, and, and but it was an actual woman. Okay. Okay. So so I'm saying that when you hear Adam's apple, you think a man, right? Yeah. But the woman had it. Several women have Adam's apples. But I'm saying like there are certain aspects of like masculinity. There's an anecdotal anecdotal Adam's apple. <laughs> there's that. I, I've seen that too. Actually, I've seen that. Too. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. But, but there's like aspects of masculinity and femininity that you just cannot copy. Like oh, you cannot I, copy I, a man's I, I understand. You can't copy but, but when you talk about femininity, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Just just you're just talking like, about copying it. I think you can copy it. I think you can copy it. Th there are traits that you'll notice in some women. You would you would start to you start asking for baby pictures in, in, in uh you know in uh <laughs> sonograms and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So nevertheless, what do you think? Uh the, the, my first thought? Yeah. But well, I wanna add take... actually more. Sorry to okay, go catch you yeah, out. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Yeah, another thing. So when we talk about the femininity, uh you talked about the the physical. Yeah. Well, the physical is one thing. Then of course the, the, the character, right? Yeah. So part of the character is like, you know, they're they're not aggressive. Yeah. Like right, yeah, indirect. They are not aggressive. They are dependent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. They are easily influenced. 
Are yeah. they? Do the Muslims easily influence? Mm. Uh, they could be submissive. Desire, the, 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 the desire to be guided. Mm -hmm. Femininity. Home oriented, no? Uh, home oriented? Yeah, there's gentle. Gentle, yeah, I agree with that. Right? Yeah. Emotional? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like that. Yeah. Right? Uh, kind? Yeah. Caring, right? Nurturing? Yeah. These are all like uh, feminine qualities, right? Or is it a social construct? <laughs> no. that's, that's, what the, that's what the feminists say, right? Yeah. yeah, if you look it up, they'll tell you that it is a social construct, yeah. but femininity, just like masculinity, is static. It meaning that it's it's it, it's not, it doesn't change. Perhaps the way that it's represented in in a certain society yeah. may differ depending on like where you're at. But in its essence, femininity can't change. <laughs> femininity is femininity. Mm. So they, it's not a social construct. They, they cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So these are the what distinguish between you know. Yeah. Uh, these are stereotypes, right? So, yeah. Stereotypes. Well, they call it stereotype. Sometimes they call it stereotype. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or attributes. Yeah. So, Coach Kareem, uh, what do you have? What is your definition? Well, uh, actually, I, I did drop down to the concept of femininity in my last episode of my weekly, uh, my weekly program, which is Awareness Hill. The whole, uh, the whole episode was about femininity. Okay. And I talked about it like in, in, in very depth about the concept in general, like uh, for general terms, biological perspective, psychological perspective, the behavior association associated with femininity, and from Islamic uh, point of view. So femininity is, uh, it has both sides, it has biological, uh, biological features, and it has uh, psychological, uh, biological and psychological features, and there is a social construction feature, which is social engineering. Uh, like women, uh, modern women is socially engineered to be masculine mm -hmm. on a mass level. Yeah. Uh, but uh, when, it, when, it, when it comes to uh, biological, uh, let's say, uh, standard, what does it mean? Uh, standard, like, you know, like, like getting ready, right? Yeah, uh, they, they don't, don't have, have the capabilities, capabilities of being masculine, masculine but they're but trying to, so hard to be masculine because you don't have the hardware for it. Mm. It is like to have the hardware of HP laptop and trying to put Linux or, uh, sorry, uh, the MacBook software on it. You can't. You can't because you're not designed to be masculine. So they're trying, they're trying so hard and uh, because they they've been fed that narrative since the beginning of of, of their life yeah they've been fed that you have to be competitive you have to be uh, successful you have to do this and that to get the money be assertive be all of that is masculine feature if you reach your success you will gain a lot of masculine personality traits that you can't get rid of because this is the reason of your success. So you will you will you will fail being woman, and you will fail being man also. Yeah. So you are something in between. Lose, you are fem you have a female body who's acting like man. You're you're not you're not a female fully female and you're not a fully male. So you can't have have them both. You have to choose one of them. So uh, getting uh, getting back to the main the main question, what does femininity mean? On biological wise, she had to have uh, X X chromosome, and that's very specific. You can't change that. You can't change your genes. You can't change your chromosome structure. You can't change that. Even by the transformation, like this transformers uh, surgeries that they are doing. You know, <laughs> Yeah, you can't change that. Yeah, uh, can. Generally speaking, female is capable of uh, uh, bearing children, having children and giving birth. They have wombs, they have ovaries, and they have a certain uh, hormone structure with a hormonal cycle. Like that's biologically what we call female. Okay? Uh, on a psychological standpoint, if you broke down the, the, person, uh, the personality traits, 
women uh, on average like that's on, on a universal level have uh, have been more agreeable and higher ranking on neuroticism so this agreeableness and lower uh, neuroticism will make you masculine because women in general is higher in agreeableness and higher in neuroticism which is the emotional uh, emotional uh, let's say uh, uh, sens sensibility, let's say, she's being so sensitive to emotional impact, negative emotional impact, that's what neuroticism means. Okay. Uh, women, are, women are higher, have higher, uh, higher sensitivity towards uh, negative emotional impact, and they are more agree agreeable, they avoid conflict. Yeah. So, uh, from a personality trait standpoint, that's what female is, and from a biological standpoint, I already explained it. There's a there's a defense mechanism that is natural with women, and that defense mechanism is simply a smile. You know, when a, when a woman is walk, you know, you're, you're about the nervous smile. The, you know, yeah. but but a woman is walking nervous and she laugh. feels that yes, and she feels that she is in an uncomfortable situation or she is in an unfavorable situation. You know, even just passing a male, they offer a smile. Now now, what is that? Psychological also is also a very good tactic, you know. What what it does, it balances this this beast that's walking past. It balances him. Uh, when, when you have a counselor or a psychiatrist, uh, when the when the the client is here, they don't go there. They always stay here, because what they're trying to do, they're trying to bring the client down, right? If the client starts barking and they start barking. What is that going to do? Now you got a totally yeah, really hostile environment. Yeah. You're trying mm -hmm. to bring the client down when the client is here. You try to they go, they go to ten. You stay at two. You know. So uh, the woman with the smile, they say it's a defense mechanism. But today, uh, women today, uh, as one woman stated, she said that she uh, gets, you know, aggressive when she feels threatened. Okay, what would that do for you if that man? Uh, uh, you know, taps into that aggression. Like, 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 for instance, I give the example about the mouse. I was trying to get the cat to eat this mouse that was trapped in the tub. Okay, and the 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 cat would not eat the mouse. So I went and got another cat that's a stray from the hood, right? Put that cat in the tub. The cat wouldn't eat the mouse, right? So a, a baby rat actually wouldn't eat it. So when I, I we went to Halakha later on that day, I said, brother, I said. This strange thing happened today. You know, I grew up watching Tom and Jerry, you know, the cartoon. So I said, a strange thing happened today. And the brother told me, well, you know why the cat didn't eat the rat? So why not? <clears throat> the rat didn't run. It just cowered in the corner of the tub. It didn't run. That natural instinct. So a woman bucks up at a man, you are tapping into the wrong instinct. But when you, are, when you, you smile like, you know, how you doing? You know, you know have a nice day or, you know. Uh, uh, hey, it's, it's, it's something like it's gonna rain, you know, so, something or just a smile and just pass by. You just balance that dude out. He looks like ten, because you know, masculine man is 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 an imposing uh, entity. So he looks like ten, but you're staying here. You're staying in your femininity, and that's where the balance happens. But again, modern women today are taught, you know, they 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 take. Uh, matter of fact, Coach Kareem, if you see this video, I wish I could send it to you. It's a you it's a TikTok. This woman says, babe, look, guess what I learned in, in self-defense class? He said, why is the camera on? She says, uh, no, just, just just, let me show you what I learned. He said, okay. So she said, hey, yeah, and he kicked her feet and flipped upside down. Like, yeah, he, I saw that. He took no classes. He saw it. So, yeah, so, that's, a great, that's a great advice for, for females. If a man look at you as competitor, he will destroy you. It's yes. better for you exactly. not to let him feel that you are competing with him. Because if he treats In the masculine you, frame. Not, yeah, not like he treats a man. He will destroy you. That's what we do, men, to each other. If we, yeah. like, we, beat, we, beat, we beat the shit out of the competitor. That's what we do. We are designed to be competitive. That's what we do since the beginning of history, by the way. Yeah. It's not now. It's not 10 years. It is since thousands of years. That's what we do, man. We kill each other over status, uh, accomplishment, over women, over uh, money, over pride, any war, any type of war, any reason. 
So do not, and usually, usually males do not, do not, like naturally, they do not look at female as competitive. Exactly. So keep that nature because if you put yourself in that position while you feel that can be threatened by you, he will never hesitate to destroy you. Does does numbers prove that? Yes. Seventy five percent of domestic violence started by women. But uh-huh. end up that woman is the victim. Why? Exactly. Why? Because they, they keep trying so hard to provoke the man. He is not doing anything, so they start the, the physical altercation. And after this, uh, after this point, some women can, ha- some men can handle it. Some men cannot. So if he fight back, he will destroy you literally, and you will end up like uh, uh, you will end up crying, telling me, be playing the victim role. You was not playing the victim role like one hour ago. So you started the battle. Yeah. So, so that that's, that's smooth. smooth. That's, that's totally L. L. So so I had I had um I do my Sunday show exactly. So I talked about some episodes ago. I talked about how women are not man's natural enemy. A woman is not a man's mm-hmm. natural enemy. So so yeah. why are they challenging men? Men are not equal to women, nor are women equal to women. I mean m- men. But guess what? Women are not equal to each other. <laughs> Men are not yeah. equal to men. So why are women trying to be equal to men when men are not equal to men? Some men are taller, stronger, faster, jump higher than I do. Yeah. That's not fair. I need equality. So let's injure that man so we <laughs> all jump the same height. You don't do that. But what they're trying Break to do, the they're, they're, injuring, they're injuring men. Yes, they're injuring men to do what? To make them equal to women. And I, I don't know if it was Plato or one of those philosophers. They said that to make women equal to men is to make them superior. Because we're at a balance. Women can do things we can't do. We do things a woman can't do. When you try to make us equal, you already gave them superiority. Nobody's asking for equality when there's a noise outside. I just told, I told my wife, I said, because she said, well, I'm going to start working again. So since we're going to be making, you know, I'm like, oh, hold on. I said, well, there's no equality here. I said, if someone starts rattling this door trying to get inside, I say, are you ever going to handle that? He said, no. You know this, you know this quote, there is no feminist in the fire? Exactly. Yeah, I like I like that one. And, and I told no I, I said when, 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 fire, when fire just get on, there's no feminist. You will call the man. To, to be exactly. Fire. Exactly. So so I, I told I said I said how would you react if they start rattling the door? She said I'm looking at you. Yeah. She's looking right at me. I said you know how I would handle it. I said I would grab it, door, open it up, and I said I would carve him up like like a, a, a Thanksgiving turkey, which I don't celebrate. You know what I'm saying? I would carve him up. I say I would get him inside the house and let him bleed right there, mm-hmm. you know, inside the threshold. I say that's how I would handle it. I say you and the kids go go hide in the restroom, and lock the door. You know what's interesting? Mm-hmm. Women, at times when they begin to start making the same amount of money as a man, they think that they become equal, but yep. they don't look at all the other aspects. Uh, that uh, pertain to masculinity and femininity. That's the new definition of masculinity. Yeah. The almighty dollar. That's that's the yeah. religion here. You know what I mean? The capitalist religion, the secular religion. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah the, the state, state actually, actually is replacing the man's role. role. That's, that's the major issue. issue. When, when the state, state is uh, like, like, because 200, 200 years ago, there's, there's no policeman will, will, uh, will, will, will defend you. That this, these structures, like hundreds of years ago, these structures of safety and providing and social security and all that safe environment that we are living in, it never existed. So women, like in the, in the middle centuries and before, they would never feel like competing with men because they need them to, to be safe. They, they need men to defend them. They need men to provide for them. Because they, they, they deeply know when shits hit the fan, who doesn't have man, she will be a slave. Exactly. So you have to have a man, and in order to keep that man like around you, you have to be feminine, submissive, like to give him a peace of mind, take care of the children, take care of the house. That's how you keep man. But nowadays, you got divorced. Don't worry, we got you, social security, we will give you salary, we will give you a, a, a little house 
housing or a little house to, to, to live in. We will take care of your children. We will, uh, we will pay for their education. And we will rip this man off to take money out of him and support you. Yep. So the whole system is designed to break man down and to support the, the, the female up. Whatever, like whatever uh, wrongs she is doing, uh, uh, he, he, for, like, for, for her, her behavior, whatever mistake she do, the state will support her. That's the main issue. That's why you you listen for a lot of females right now. I don't need a man, like uh, like uh, like one famous uh, feminist who used to run uh, Miss Magazine. She said, men. Uh, women need men like uh, like a fish need a bike. <laughs> she wouldn't dare to say that like 200 years ago. She never would dare to say such things 200 years ago because she will be ripped off. But nowadays, yeah, that's like almost true, almost true. Because why? The statement will provide you, the state will provide you everything that you need that men can provide. You know what's funny? They say that uh, you know they don't need a man, so on and so forth. These people have made a pillow. I don't know if you saw that pillow. It's like a half man. Mm -hmm. It has an arm coming out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's called the cuddle pillow. Now, yeah. now, why why is the arm on the pillow masculine? You know, <laughs> you know. Yes. And, and, and these women that that they they, they basically MGTOW women. Uh, 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 call call them big tile, which bull daggers going their own way. They they they, yeah. they, bull, they yeah, going bull daggers going their own way. They they. They, 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 they scoff at men, they leave men off, they go to uh, women. And what women do they go to? The one that appear like in the masculine man, yeah. frame. But, but, but if you have two bull daggers in the house and I start rattling the door, oh, both man. of them going to be in the bathroom hiding. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just that yeah. when the coach Karim was talking about how the system, like, you know, reduce men, right? Like they kind of destroy them, break yeah. them. Yeah. And the state becomes the father or the state becomes the husband. What I mean by, in a sense, now they're taking care of the woman. They're encouraging the woman, you know, take all these opportunities. In fact, even in business, I don't know if I told you that before, in business, here in the state, there are a lot of organizations that help women base. Like, if you're a woman, you get funding. Yeah. If you're a woman, you get yeah. this. If you're a minority, you get that, right? Uh, they have access to everything in terms of legality, in terms of helps, whatever they want, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know that, that uh, I, I bet you know, know that. that uh, Forty-three percent of newborn babies in North America are being born in uh, a single, single mother household. household. Yeah. Do you think that could happen in 1700 or 1800? Nah, man, this, that wouldn't be no. safe. Not even 1930s. That will never, yeah, that will never be in uh, like 200 years ago. You know why? Because when you have a baby, you need a man. But nowadays, I can have a baby from multi-fathers and like no, the in the garbage, and the statement and the family court will take care of you. In yeah. fact, they, they encourage it. They, they, they encourage it to keep you in that system, to keep you down, basically, so that you don't progress up. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. the welfare system. Yeah, because the man, the man in the house disqualifies you from all of the uh, aid. Right. Yeah. Have you have you guys heard of uh, freezing eggs? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. for, so is for, it like the chickens up in Alaska? Or? <laughs> no. no. Oh, okay. so, so Fortune 500 companies like Google and Facebook, and like that, they actually offer that no. to women that you can freeze as your eggs. benefit? Egg. Yeah, as a part of the benefit. In <laughs> fact, what's her name? Um... Uh, that lady, the one who wrote that book, uh, Lean Lean In, uh, Sandberg, the Cheryl, the Facebook lady, uh, Cheryl Sandberg, I think. So this is a very popular book, and it's, it's kind of sad because most of my sisters also share this book. It's like a motivational, business-wise, career-based called Lean In. So in one of the chapters, she mentioned she was actually advising the woman that when you are young, like twenty and up, right, enjoy life, have fun. When you hit thirty, right, now settle. Or look for a geek or Mr. Nice Guy to settle with. You know, basically look for the beta uh, type of uh, people yeah, to settle I'll, with. I'll I'll see beta need. Need. Yeah, 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 exactly. So I'm like, she's saying that the beta book. Need. Like, you can have fun when you're young, telling the woman, have fun. But when you hit 30 and want to settle, 
find yourself a nice guy after like you know running through stuff for that's a lot. That's a failed philosophy. Yeah. yeah. Guess, guess guess what? what? Men prefer younger women. Yeah. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so I have some questions. I have some questions I want to lob at. Uh, yeah. Okay, Coach Kareem, are there some traits that both genders share? Well, on, on, a person, on, on a personality trait, the big five model, which is the most reliable model of psychology, uh, psychological literature, uh, the conscientiousness and uh, the openness and uh, conscientiousness, openness, and, uh, and the third one, hold on a minute, let me... Let's take it up. There is three personal traits that women and men almost equal. Like the, the differences is not uh, that big between yeah. men and women. What really makes it uh, makes it different is uh, is only uh, is only the agreeableness and the, uh, and the neuroticism, which is yeah the openness, the conscientiousness, and the extroversion. This is three personal traits. Uh, it is not quite uh, like there's no far. Okay, did he hit it? He froze. No, I think. The, oh, he froze. He froze. Okay, yeah. we're still. Give a few minutes. Make a minute or two. Coach Karim, you froze. Just yeah, should be coming. It'll soon. come back. Oh, it's getting juicy. Yeah. The, uh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Th 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 there are you know traits character traits that men and women share and that uh and I you know even even their degrees their yeah. degree like he was saying th 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 there is not much what three did he mention he said openness openness extroversion extroversion and uh, uh I forgot the third one he said well he's, he's coming he's coming back uh, what is that Sorry, we got you back. You froze up. You froze up for a second. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, That's okay. okay. Oh, sorry. Can, Can you hear me now, guys? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> You're great. Actually. It's like even better. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so these differences in in the personal traits, uh, it makes a huge difference on a society level. Why? Because uh, if we want to pick uh, the most agreeable, uh, the most uh, disagreeable people in the in the whole society, it will be all men. Look at who's in prison, 99% or over 90% of them are men. Mm -hmm. with, uh, like very low ag in agreeableness predict a uh, higher uh, percentage of violence. So uh, that's, uh, like that's, that makes the difference, which is the extreme of the, uh, of the both end. It makes like really big, uh, big difference. And if we track the, the, the most successful hyperproductive Productive man, you you will find them all of them is disagreeable, very low below the average. That's why uh, that's why over the ninety five percent of the CEOs and on, on the C level on the Fortune five hundred is uh, is men, because uh, the the masculine traits that the super masculine traits that they have it predicts success. So they are succeeding being uh, being managers and CEOs. Of such countries, to be a leader, actually, you have to be, you have to, be, to, to, to have low agreeableness and low neuroticism, and the vast majority of women does not. So it is needed as a quality for for a leader himself. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a you know always the nature versus nurture, societal standards of femininity and masculinity versus the actual nature that you no know, that's that's why we started. Just, just loosely, anecdotally, what do you think about feminism? That's what we was talking about. But nevertheless, for instance, like the most masculine men ever to walk the earth set to urinate. In the Western society, if you sit to urinate, which, which medically is easy on your bladder, you don't strain your <laughs> bladder and things like that. But, but you take the logic out of it because Western society is not based on logic; it's based on compromise, right? Yeah. Which, which never brings justice. So, nevertheless. Uh, what happens is that the most masculine man, let's take Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay? He's set to urinate. Yeah. He's set to urinate. Except if the place was uh, filthy or uh, unkept, you know. But he's set 
to urinate, and people would say, "Oh, that's so feminine." You wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to meet them on the battlefield. <laughs> right. These are men, men. Yeah. These are most masculine of men. You know. So again, societally, you know, the nurture of what is masculine, what is feminine, and the nature itself is in total conflict, and that's why we are at odds today. And that's why you know uh, I started to pay gender wars. Yeah. You know. Because there, there is a gender war going on, and women are not our natural enemies. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard the statement, Coach uh, Kareem. It says, uh, "Men are naturally friends until something makes them enemies. Women are naturally enemies until something makes them friends." What? And, and, and you, you, you'll get them. You know, just take a group of women standing, let one pass by. Hey, girl, how you doing? And they look, oh, look at that dress she got on. She just, you know, men don't do that. Yeah. You know, yeah. men don't do that. You know, it's, it's, we're not concerned. If you're concerned about the way to do, you know, <laughs> if you're concerned about that. Uh, oh, no, no, we, we do it face to face. We don't do that caddy yeah, yeah, and caddy back to back. You know, if I feel like he's a tactical lesbian, you know, then, then I, I'm going to say he's, you know, he's he's been crawling through the brush. You know what I'm saying? You know, that it's, sweater. It's really that, interesting. That, that, that will make you laugh. That will make you laugh, which is 80% of working females. They prefer to work under a man rather than yeah. work under a woman. Eighty yeah, percent of them. Yeah. Interesting. Why? Yeah. Why they don't like to to, to have a female manager? Too, too too much emotion. And then they have the competition anxiety. Yeah. Competition, and, and, yeah. and emotion is beautiful. Yeah. You know, uh, even Allah tells us in the Quran, if there's an aspect that you dislike, perhaps Allah brings a lot of good out of it. Yeah. You know that that balance. That balance is, is, is something beautiful, although men don't like to be challenged. That's yeah. why women should always offer advice and not orders. So, so yeah. a, a lot of women these days, because they're, they're in a masculine frame, they, they almost give orders. Yeah. If you notice? Yeah. That's why I was, was about, about uh, females, females, actually. actually yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I said. Yeah. Getting, getting to Muhunna. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the God's, God's speaking, speaking about females. females. If, if you, you hate, hate them as yeah. females... Yeah. You might uh, you might resent something or hate something good for you. that there is a lot of good in it. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, it's, it's very interesting. Two things because um, here in uh, Austin, Texas, every year we have this event called uh, South by Southwest. South by Southwest. Yeah, where all the tech and the big companies and uh, you know entrepreneurs hang out for one week, then another week movies, then third week is the the music. music. I always go for the for the entrepreneurship for the business stuff, right? Not the movies. Not the, <laughs> the movies. <laughs> Stay out of Sixth Street. Yeah, <laughs> it's out of Sixth Street. Yeah, one of them. So I I even attended this uh, event where these uh, CEOs of Fortune 500 companies, mostly women, and it was a woman event, and there were top three of them. I just unfortunately forgot the name, but one of them basically said that that in the startup community or in the STEM, you know, the science, technology, yeah. uh, engineering, and math. She was saying that it's funny that women don't help another woman. Yeah. Guys help each other a lot, yeah. but women don't. And we don't have a lot of women in the in the tech field, in the AI field, because they focus on different different, you know, like womanly, I don't know, womanly type of uh, business, but they never get into like engineering or something like, you know, more analytical, tangible. more more tangible. Yeah. And and she even said that it's sad that they don't help each other versus how men do. Mm. Okay, so I, I find that very interesting. And the second thing, like even today, I just googled. I want to find out the definition, right? Okay. Like, uh, what is femininity? Yeah. So the definition that pops up in the beginning, <laughs> okay, it looks kind of valid, you know, biological, academic base. Like, then in the middle, oh, it's a social construct. Oh, there we go. You see, they're there interjecting that feminist uh, definition into it. I'm like, okay, that's kind of is the whole of Google gives me this definition. And not different definition. I'm seeing when I go to second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh link, they got all got the same definition, which is weird, right? So what did I do? I went back and I typed Mahi al Unutha in Arabic. Okay. Maybe in, in Arabic is different definition. And guess what? Nope. Even in Arabic, the definition was exactly the same. Subhanallah. So now if if a, if a, if a Muslim, same narrative. yeah, yeah, same narrative. So now a Muslim or Arab. Uh, uh, let's say a sister or brother who's, uh, I don't know, in, in high school or in college wants to, you know, find the definition quickly. When they type it, it does not have the Islamic definition. Of course, it's a secular, but they are forcing that, that definition, right? Because if you go to archive.org, if you look at the all sites, you can see the definition is not the same. If you go back like 10, 20 years ago, definition is not the same. 
But now, because we are in this, you know, secular, you know, the dominant yeah, world. Like social social order. Order. Exactly. So I was like, uh, wow. I got a question about STEM. If you look at STEM, is it, isn't, isn't the reason they avoid STEM, you're talking about nature, right? The reason they avoid STEM is because that's, those are co competitive. Mm -hmm. Those are by effort. Those are competitive. Yeah. And There's they choose. Uh, huh? Say again. There is other reason, yeah. like, like biological, biological reason. Okay. okay. Yeah. Men, uh, and, and that's, that's the, the, the most, uh, one, one of the, the most famous uh, facts that, uh, like, like well documented, documented and based in modern, modern day psychology. psychology. Like, like they, they, they have the same, same results since around 35, 35 years, years in psychology, psychology. Mm -hmm. which, which is, is men tend to be more interested in things and. Uh, females, uh, females are more interested, interested in people. people. Yes. yes. STEM, mm. STEM is not, not a people thing. thing. You're dealing uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, science, uh, te uh, technology, technology, engineering, and math. math. You're, You're dealing, dealing with, with numbers, numbers or, or devices or things. things. Yeah. yeah. But, but uh, uh, they, they tend, tend to have uh, uh, more tendencies to work in, uh, uh, for example, receptionist, uh, nursing, social work, uh, teaching, teaching children, psychology, social work. Arts and other <laughs> stuff. Yeah. So, so that's that's, that's a natural, natural uh, preference for female and male. And, and you know you know where is it uh, uh, most clear? In the most uh, socioeconomically uh, equal, uh, socioeconomically high uh, countries, mm -hmm. and, and the, the most egalitarian, egalitarian countries, countries, like Scandinavian countries. countries. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What's egalitarian? I mean. Uh, equality, equality uh, based, uh, based yeah. on uh, in, in, in the society, society okay. in the, the socialist structure, and on uh, on, uh, on a government level, yeah. like since okay. long okay. since okay. since long time, since, since 30, 40, 40 years, yeah. they, put they put the equality, equality as the main goal of uh, uh, of, of the, the constitution, constitution and, and the laws, laws. Mm, and it contradicts okay. the nature. So 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 you'll see women yeah. still avoiding STEM. Yeah, it's just funny you know, because they, they, they push them that way yeah, and they yeah. still avoid it. <laughs> it's funny, like you know, you were saying they're pushing it and they wonder like, why is that working? I guess all they need is Yeah, that's what <laughs> Say <laughs> man, you, that's the wrong time. <laughs> you know, but, but okay, now now away from STEM I, I, I think I think women women are choosing the other side, avoiding STEM. Because again, it's competitive, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's like golf. I call it like golf. At golf, you don't play the competitor. You play in the course. Mm -hmm. You have to beat the course. You don't beat your competitor, okay? And in STEM, you got to beat the course. But 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 in the other psychology and in a uh, uh, communication and all these other useless degrees, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, and those they're in a they're in a controlling space. So they're offering they're listening to other people's problems, offering advice, and they, they're in like over the children, teaching over the children, and in teaching period, they're in a control. They have some control, mm -hmm. but then when they get home, you know, they 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 they, they don't have the control. But why? So why do women like sports? They don't like competing. No, no, no. They don't like sports. I was like, where do you get this from, man? Yeah, they, they, they don't like. Must they don't be, like sports. Must be this uh, soft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every, every, his, his opinion changed. When <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell me you think women's basketball is real basketball. Do you? Oh, like these okay. girls who play sports. Uh, you know, you know, Coach right? Kareem. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't support the the the, the Transformers, right? But yeah. I am hoping some NBA player, yeah, yeah, yeah. identifies as a woman for just one season. <laughs> and going to WNBA and destroy that whole franchise. Be Ooh, because yeah. it, it, it happens in, in a <laughs> lot of other uh, it, it does. Uh, other it's been happening. Yeah. Oh, rugby, especially, rugby, especially, uh, especially swimming, MMA. Yeah. 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 MMA. Yeah. A, a, guy, a guy like a former uh, a former, former marine. marine. Fallon Fox. Well, no, well, well, no, no, that's no, the other one. It's a white guy. Yeah. yeah. I identify as a as a female as a female and he went to the MMA, the woman MMA champion. And, and he, he destroyed, destroyed them, them like, like like nothing, nothing like, like a, cake. a cake. Yeah, really. Yeah, he got he got the number one. Yeah, he he just went there. Did you saw Zubi? Did you saw Zubi the singer? To beat them. Did you saw Yusuf? Did you saw the Zubi the singer? Yeah, Zubi. Zubi, yeah, he he did the the deadlift. Yeah, yeah, the weight. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious. The weight more than more than like the the world champion. Did he ever do the bench press? Because he said next he was gonna do the bench press and destroy that record too. 
Did I ever say that? Just to throw a point. Yeah, just to throw a point. Did you dress up or something? No, no, no. He's a rapper. He's a rapper. From UK. UK. Nigerian who lived in Saudi Arabia. And he said, I'm going to show you how ridiculous this thing is. He said, I now identify as a woman. He picked up the weight, put it back down, said, now I'm a man again. Yeah. And he won. And they gave him the record. Wow. It was a man, a woman for like one minute, 30 seconds, you know? He identifies women for thirty. Matter of fact, Coach Kareem, I, I got a, I got a, a, a child support thing coming up, right? <laughs> I identify as a woman. I'm announcing it now. <laughs> I identify as the mom. I want, I want equal ability in that court setting. That court for the court setting. I want equal. Try ability. it. Try it. No, no. I'm telling y'all all. I identify right now. Try it, man. And I, and, and I will. Thank I, you, ma'am. <laughs> Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Suck him. <laughs> If you feel it, I support it. Yeah, it's really you can't see it outside. It's all inside, baby. I'm T Yum Yum. I'm T. I'm T. I'm a Yum Yum. I'm a Yum Yum. I'm a Yum Yum. Hala Yum Yum. Hala Yum Yum. Hala Yum Yum. Hala Yum Yum. Mashallah. Subhanallah. Yes. So yeah, that that's great. I got another question for you. Inshallah. I'm gonna get a meme on that one. The next question is. A, a, came from a sister. It's you know yeah. we talked about how the 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 highest level uh, uh, of of martyrdom is if you speak hawk to a dhalim, you know, and he kills you for it. A sister asks. I think it was Sister Tammy actually asked. Yeah, I think so. oh, she's in the room right now. She is. She asks. Um, she asks that if a woman speaks hawk to, to dhulm, is that a masculine trait? Islamically, it's actually not. Well. well well, well, if, uh, like, like, generally, it is, is not the woman's job, job yes. to, to fix that. Like, like so, 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 so if, if, if a female, like, uh, stand, stand up in front of a uh, military leader and was start shouting, shouting, even if she's saying, ha, it, it is, is not, not your job to be in this position. position. Yes. It, it is, is not, not your duty. duty. It is not wajib. God will will never blame you for not doing that. You're putting yourself in a high risk. That's the man duty. Yeah. So, so, like, like uh, that, 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 that that will never will never apply. It, it will, will apply, apply if a man does not do it. it. If, if you, you see dolor, injustice, and, and you kept silence, so, so you are uh, you are associating with shaitan behavior. Like, like you know, you just, you just keep, keep silent. silent. Like, like see everything falling yeah. down, and just keep silent about it. It is your job to fix it, or at least to say it, to say that you're doing wrong, guys. No. That's haram, for example. Now, okay, um, uh, th this issue, this issue of, say a woman is feeling dhulam in her own home. She feels oppressed. So she, you know, lashes uh, that's, out that's at that. That's a different that. level. Yeah, yeah. So, so she lashes out at that. Uh, uh, wouldn't the feminine way to, would to be to call... The, the imam or call your wali or call your dad and ask for arbitration or something wouldn't that be more feminine than her you know yelling or you know look uh, being, being rebellious, rebellious against, against the, the husband, husband is, is not Islamic, Islamic at, at all, all. Whatever, whatever the husband, husband was doing whatever whatever he was doing, doing you, you, you do, do not, not have, have the right to be rebellious, rebellious and, and to disrespect him even, even if he was, was doing, doing something wrong, wrong. So, so is, is there a ways, ways to fix, fix that? that? Yeah, yeah, there is a permissible way to fix that. that. One, One of them is start uh, like, like giving him ma'urda. A ma'urda should, should be in a polite manner. Ma'urda should be a polite in a polite manner. Manner. So you have to talk with him in a feminine, soft way, like giving him as an advice, like in a nice tone. And, and I, I bet, bet he will listen, listen to you if you frame, frame it in that way. way. Yes. But, but to shout at him and to try to to, to be like, like the, 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 the next rooster in the home, shouting and like nagging, nagging no. no. He will he never will take, take any advice, advice from you. From so you never can be polite, telling him ma'urda and tadkir billah, which is remind him of Allah and shara. Like, you know, man, like what you're doing is not permissible. Like, this is haram. And, and you, you have, have to, to like to stop, stop doing, doing that. that. That's, That's a different, different tone. tone. Not like, like you, you are doing haram shit. No, no, this is not acceptable. You are no. no he, he will never take any advice under this tone. tone. Ever, ever, never, never, ever. ever. And, and you, you're, you're not, not permissible, permissible to treat him, him this way. way. Mm -hmm. so, so if 
every uh, if all door closed like he's not changing at all at all and you can't handle it it is in surah an-nisa surah an-nur sorry in khafat min ba'daha nashuza she have to counsel someone of the two families she she have to ask for help for example uh, a wise man her father, father his, his father, father his, his big, big brother, brother yeah. or uh, uh, someone or imam that he knows that i'm having this and that, that. On, on a private, private not in public, public on private do, do not announce it on social, social media, media for 10 million, million viewers and then you're, thinking lie, you're doing, doing the, 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 the right thing, thing. no this, this is uh, a secret issue which is sacred in 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 the islamic family should not go out everything you mentioned I'm sorry, Coach Kari. Everything you mentioned is actually part of the feminine quality from the Quran and Sunnah. Yeah. 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 Everything you mentioned, yeah. that's, that's uh. what the Quran says, that, you know, the Iffa, right? And uh, uh. advice and see. Everything you mentioned right now is actually how I was about to go. What's actually, the there, 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 is a, there is a prophet, uh, a prophet wife got divorced. And that's mentioned in the Quran over yeah. this. You know, you know what? It's she, uh, uh, Zawjat uh, Sayyidina uh, Ismail. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. The, uh, yeah, yes, uh, yeah. She, she, when, 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 Prophet, uh, when Prophet, uh, when Prophet, uh, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, when, when, when Prophet uh, Ismail, Ismail came, came to visit her, she never met, met him before. before. He, was he was asking her about like, like your husband, your marriage, and, and she, she, she starts start complaining, 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 complaining about, about the life, that, the life, the life that she had. He gave her like he he told her like coded message to her husband, which is tell your husband to change his. Uh, uh, doorstep. Door yeah, that's, that's coded, coded message. message. And, and when when when, uh, uh, when Prophet uh, Ibrahim, Ibrahim listen, like, like there's, there's an old man can can, can, can here ask for you, and he's telling you that to change the doorstep. doorstep. He, 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 he 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 replied, replied you are divorced. divorced. Yes. Wow. Why? Why? What, what happened? happened? This, this is, is my father, father and he's telling me that you are a bad woman and you should get divorced. She, she got, got divorced, divorced and, and he got, got another wife, wife and, and he, he did, did the, the same test with her. The, the old man, which is the uh, Prophet uh, uh, Ismail, uh, Ismail uh, salam, he, he did the, the same test. test. He asked her about it and she said, Alhamdulillah, we got everything. Like we are blessed. We have a, I have a wonderful husband. Then he told him, that's the right woman for you. So, so you, you have, have to, to take ibrah and ibrah for, for this, like the for stories, yeah. females who, for Muslim, 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 Muslim sisters, sisters who's listening, just, just listen to that carefully, because that's, that's a great example of announcing and like complaining, complaining uh, from, from your, your husband, husband to, to, to the world, to, to, to strangers. No, no that's, that's not permissible, permissible. and you, 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 you might get divorced for it. I have a... If you, if, you if you have, have a Muslim, Muslim man that, that he's masculine, masculine high value, value that, that he, he does, does not tolerate bullshit, bullshit he, might he might divorce you for that. Yeah. I have a anecdote. Uh, it, it's, it's a I'm divorced now from this uh, wife. Had many wives. Anyway, so the uh, <laughs> so the issue is I'm divorced. The, but 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 we we were Second in the American. American here, yeah, huh? yeah yeah yeah. I, I actually I think I had more divorces than him. <laughs> I, I think I actually yeah, but but but, but nevertheless, um, yeah. so so what happened was we were negotiating the the the, the tenants of our up uh, no incumbent divorce mm-hmm. basically right we negotiate and I was like well you know and the reasoning behind it so she was like well uh, and I'm telling her well you 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 bring out the cat in me you you're, you're the mouse and you bring out the cat in me you shouldn't mm-hmm. do that you know that's not your role you're not my enemy. She said, well, you scared me. Hmm. And my wife told me I scared her. And I cried like a baby. I, 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 felt, I felt like I wasn't on my dean when she told me that I scared her. Because mm-hmm. not she's not my enemy. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so when she said I scared her, that touched my dean. That touched my, you know, my man. And I started crying. I'm like, wow. Like beta. But see, no, no, no. <laughs> but see, if that would have happened in the relationship, if she'd have told me, then yeah, yeah, perhaps if, you could have worked. Yeah, yeah, she's barking at me, yeah. and no woman can outbark me. So I'm, I'm bro, 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 you know, and she's barking back at me. Now I'm in my masculine frame because I feel like I'm being approached by a masculine entity, right? Yeah. So when she said, back then when I did that, you scared me, broke me down. Hmm. See, see that that that's. That, and I tell women all the time, that's your strength. Your strength is in your soft side. Mm-hmm. 
Your strength is not in trying to match me. You'll never match me. Matter of fact, we sat down with Abu Ahmed one time for counseling. Yeah. And he told her, stop challenging your husband. He said, you'll, you'll lose every time. The Sakina is supposed to be in the home. They say you can live in a tranquility. You, you can live with a million enemies outside your door. You better not have one inside. One inside will destroy your whole house structure. The million outside don't phase you. You know. So again, like yeah, I said, that, that's supposed to be there. Femininity is is a very important topic. It has been lost because of the nurture of society. Yeah. We need to return to our fitra, meaning that you be, you come traditional, uh, come in line with with uh, what Allah and His Messenger uh, dictated. You know what I'm saying from Quran and Sunnah, right? And, and we're gonna fall in line with that. And then what happens? It runs like a well-oiled machine. This conflict that we got going on, I didn't start it. I'm just here to discuss it. You know. Yeah. It's, I'm just here to discuss it. Yeah. It's been going on for years. Yeah. Recent, recent, really. <laughs> well, I mean, it's been going on for years, but 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 with recent, it's just been pushed like to the. It's level, a governmental the, agenda. It's a government. It's, it's a, a governmental government agenda. agenda. Yeah. It is. So it's a level not ten thousand. Systematic. Yeah. So that's what's been happening. So. And last um, week, my mom, she's sixty something. Her parents were having the same issues. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, they were born in the thirties. Well, I, I think you I know? think that in spots, yeah, but but when it became governmental, now when the government right, started offering incentives, in yeah, exactly. when a woman gets in a yeah. masculine frame, she gets all the incentives. Yeah, it's yeah. become the norm now. You, you know, Coach Kareem, check this out. Now I know you want to go into Quran real quick. Check this out. Women are telling men. When they come to get their child, when it's their time for, you know, visitation or whatever. I hate that word for a man. It's yeah. terrible. But anyway, when it's the man's child, time to have the child. So he goes pick up the child. The woman says, wait a minute. Before our child goes, where is he going to be? Text me where you're going to be. Uh, sign up for this app so I can see where you're moving. I, I, I was like, when did you become the protector of the child? I say, if I barge in here right now and harm you, who's going to stop me? You can't call 911 and they won't respond fast enough. Don't tell me how to protect my child. Women are telling men. Yeah. I need to know where you are. I need to know who my child is around. Like, subhanAllah. Hmm. I never yeah, seen a more you remind, me, you, you remind me for one of the stand-up comedian. Like, he's, uh, he's from non-Western non uh, country. He's from India. Okay. Uh, Russell Peter, you know, yeah. if you if you heard of him. Russell yeah. Peter. <laughs> he, got, he got that situation with his dad that... I will call because uh, uh, when he was in the in the school, in the school they told him you can call you can call the child support if they yelled at you if they hurt you. Somebody got then he, he he got it back like uh, to, to his household. He was telling his dad, "Don't yell at me, don't do this, and don't do that. I will call the child support." He told yeah. him, "They need eight minutes to to reach here, and in this eight minute, you will never know how what can I do." <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 Then he says, "Somebody gotta get hurt real bad." <laughs> yeah, somebody gotta get hurt. Really I, I, I gave the I gave the example. I, I I told this one sister. I said, "If you're standing or walking down the street or standing on a street corner with your child, and I say a man comes and accosts you, that man, masculine, right?" I said, and you start looking around for help. I said, "You looking for other women?" She's no. not looking for other women. You're gonna look for yeah. another man. Yeah, you know, so so I, I'm like I said, it, it's it's just it's it, it's it's so frustrating for a lot of people. That's why you got the MGTOW and you got the this and the that, and and people are really talking really down on women. Yeah. Uh, why did and, and some people might say, well, you guys are talking down. No, it's the reality. Yeah. Prove me wrong. They're talking down about the, about them uh, the the modern woman. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Not yeah. not the back days woman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, not the traditional feminine balanced. And, and I love the balance, man. Yeah, the balance yeah. is beautiful. Can we say traditional woman? Is that, is that, that doesn't even make sense, though. You know what I mean? It's just woman. The natural woman. You know I, mean? the natural yeah, I agree. Just woman. woman you know? yeah, yeah. Well, well we, we have to counter. Because, like, okay, we grew up with women that, are, that we know are called tomboys. Yeah. They climb trees. Yeah. That's not they, they, they play, they play yeah. football, <laughs> touch football in the street with us. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know they, they, they were in a treehouse with us and all this type yeah. of stuff. So we grew up with these. Certain women, not all, some of them were just girly girly, and some were tomboyish. Right. Guess what? Feminine. Right. They were they were going through a childhood phase. Right. Today, if a girl grow up like that, they're gonna give her a penis. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's going to get a free penis <laughs> sponsored. They're going to have they're going to have Joe Biden on the side of it. <laughs> it's going to be sponsored by the government. She gets a free penis. A penis. A free penis. Been out of be penis. Kamala Harris will sign it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll put an autograph. Yeah, <laughs> they did it, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but so so that's I, great. I got, I got you some uh, like some uh, uh, some uh, references from the from the Sira about the femininity. By the way, oh, if sure. we like, if you if you would like, we we can discuss them yes. like one 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 after another. Please, please. Which is. Uh, like like what you what you say that that catch me and I uh, like I'm very prepared for that which is don't you challenge your husband mm -hmm. like there is a there is there's a like a short story about Imra uh, uh, Saeed ibn al-Musayyib which is Saeed ibn al-Musayyib is sahabi yeah he's one of the companions of Prophet Muhammad oh, so, so. Uh, uh, and uh, and she lived like after the death of Prophet Muhammad so there's a lot of things changed in the society after the death of prophet muhammad That's so she was she was advising the uh, the women's like after the death of prophet muhammad she was saying ma kunna nukallimu azwajana illa kama tukallimuna umara'akum aslahak allah afak allah which is we uh, we we used she's telling the young woman like back days uh, uh, among prophet muhammad uh, time we used to address our husband as you address Umara'akum, uh, which is the ruler of the Muslimin, Amir al-Mu'minin, the prince of the whole, uh, the leader of the whole, uh, of the whole Islamic, Islamic uh, society, we used to address them with this level of respect. They do not use to, uh, to, to call them by their name alone. alone. Like Yusuf, uh, Yusuf, for example, Yusuf, uh, uh, like Yusuf woman will never call him Yusuf. She will call him Mr. Yusuf, like out <laughs> of respect. Yeah. You got me? Yeah. So so she was advising the young woman that we as a as a, as a Sahabiyat, we used to address our husband as you are talking with the ruler of the country out of respect. Like because she was seeing these changes happening in, in, in the females after Prophet Muhammad died. And she was giving that uh, like that uh, that advice for mostly uh, uh, Sahabiyat uh, society. I wonder what, what she will say, like in, if she lived in, in an hour uh, day, daytime. What do you think about this story, guys? That, that's, uh, that's an, ex as, as Rasulullah indicated that if Allah would allow any of the creation to bow to another created thing, he would not allow the woman to bow to her husband. Although it's not allowed, he's giving the respect and honor that her yeah. husband is due. You know, uh, it's an extreme responsibility when you take on a whole nother being. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's not just not just the, the, the respect, but also the subservitude yeah. of the wife. Yeah. yeah. Also, you know, from that from that perspective as well. So yeah. and, and I don't know why it's just to get uh, upset when you say like I want an obedient wife <laughs> or a submissive wife. What do you mean submissive? I'm not your slave. You just you just see the tip yeah, the S word. The the TikTok this uh this uh she was a white woman. She was heavy. Oh, she was heavy. <laughs> I imagine 300. Oh, oh my you know, God. Yeah, because okay. when she walked on the sand on the beach, it became glass. Anyway, so, so <laughs> what happened was she, she, oh she's God. standing next to this, this African man, mm -hmm. okay? And the, the priest is, is giving the vows. He's saying love. She said love. He said honor. She said honor. He said obey. She said what? <laughs> oh my god you gotta obey somebody obey jenny craig or somebody <laughs> <laughs> you gotta obey weight watchers you gotta respect somebody call call weight watchers mr weight watchers <laughs> amir weight watchers yeah. you know but i'm saying you gotta respect somebody she was like obey he's like yeah obey and the man sitting there grinning he tell you beta you know <laughs> he's sitting there grinning trying to get his green card you know so so she's hey, like please say she's like, please, okay please. obey and you could tell she she said it reluctantly, you know. She's trying to get through the ceremony, but it's not going to happen in that household. If, if it if it comes from the from the from the kufar, I understand, you know, it's part of their culture of lifestyle. But the sad thing, it comes from the Muslim. Yeah. Then you also have Muslim men that actually some that they agree. This is like I'm going to throw up. You know? oh, okay, stem. First word, first letter is what S. S yeah. What does that mean? Science. Science. Okay, I walk into Masjid, Masjid Luqman. Yeah. There's a scientist sitting in the Musalla, right? Yeah. 
they had a convention downtown San Antonio. So he's sitting in the Mosala because that was called the downtown masjid. So everybody yeah, came. That was like a pivot for the whole of San Antonio. Yeah. So he's sitting in the masjid. And I was so I'm like, I'm like, so I'm, I say, you know, man, Ange, where, where you from? He said, I'm from Pakistan. I say, Pakistan, I say, y'all got that woman ruling y'all, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Benazar Bhutto. Benazar Bhutto yeah. I say, y'all got that woman ruling y'all, right? <laughs> yes. he's, he's, he said, uh, yeah. So I say, why is that? <laughs> he say, well, there are no men to do the job. I said, is Pakistan LBGTQB R dash three? Dash three? I, I says the whole country went went that way. Hey, hey, hey. Don't forget my country. My country. Your country. Bangladesh will still have a woman yeah. in a ruling. So. Yeah, that was crazy. But but back then it was Benazar Bhutto. And yeah, yeah. I, I like I say there's no he said there's no men to do the job. So subhanAllah. That, that's 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 a that's a, an indictment upon a whole nation. Yeah, you know. That that happened one time, by the way, in the Islamic history. And it did not end up well <laughs> at all. <laughs> which is uh Shajarat al Dur, if you if you yeah. if you know like uh, this about the history, Shajarat al Dur she ruled uh, Egypt for around eighty days. <laughs> so it. when when she when she uh, when she ruled Egypt, she started like printing on money Amiratul Mu'minin, which is the female ruler of the Mu'minin. Yeah. So so uh, uh, the 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 secular the Islamic seculars like the ulama. And uh, the uh, the Fatimi, which is in in Iraq in Baghdad, yeah. they send them uh, they send uh, to to Egypt uh, like highest leaders, uh, a kitab, which is the like a letter. They was telling him the, they was telling them in uh, if إذا مصر خلت من الرجال فسنرسل لكم رجلا. Like if there is no more men in Egypt, we can send you a one to rule you, <laughs> yeah, exactly. but do not do not hire a woman. Like what you are doing, guys? Are, are, are you out of your mind? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she she end she end up like she she been uh, she she been killed like uh, while hitting with the like with the with the shoes. By the way, that's how she died. Like people used to hit her with the shoes until she died. That's how she died. You, you know, Coach Cream, check this out. It, it, this is funny though. Someone said. Hey, there's a masjid with a female imam, which is oxymoron, right? He says a masjid with a female imam, and they say, "Would you ever pray there?" I say, "Of course." Who's going to lead the salat? I say, "I say, of course, I'll go there and pray." I say, "Someone has to lead the salat." Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's been built by uh, by the prostitution's uh, uh, funding. <laughs> like it, it was it was built by uh, by a. Uh, it was funded by uh, by a pimp in Germany, in uh, in Berlin. It was by a, by a by a pimp, yeah. Because yeah. that 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 female who's 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 the imam in that masjid, she built it herself, <clears throat> and nobody's giving her money from the Islamic society. I want to be imam myself. Nobody, yeah. like nobody, really give her yeah. any like single euro for that, because yeah. they do not buy this like crap. So she uh, she went to for finance and she found uh, a pimp who owns a lot of broth halls, prostitution houses. Yes, yeah. So oh. she convinced him that I want to build this masjid and I need this money to build this masjid. And he he asked her, "How are you gonna pay me back?" She said, uh, "Out of sadaqa. Like there's a lot of Muslims will pray in this masjid, and oh, yeah. I will get the sadaqa and I will pay you back." Mm -hmm. And uh, he's suing her in the court right now because nobody's is praying in that masjid. She she got no sense. She got no not even single single euro of no the sense. of the masjid. And he is he is suing her actually. He might he might capture the masjid and like turn it uh, turn it to prostitution house. Yeah, she, she uh she might get more visitors to the masjid if she gets a BBL. You know what that is? What is that? The Brazilian butt lift. <laughs> She's gonna lead the salat while she looks back at it. Stop it, Allah, Allah. <laughs> she gonna look back at it while she leaves. <laughs> Stop it, man. Yeah, not not from Muslims. I like actually not from Muslims. Hey, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I saw a bunch of I saw a woman leading the salat, and, and she had a beautiful recitation. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the recitation of Quran was beautiful. Yes, oh, yes. Woman. Okay. But but she would do Arabic then English, Arabic and English every ayat. It, huh? it, it, it was. Yeah, I mean, I say might as well change it because it's not correct anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, none of it is correct. Well, you have that. What's the oh. name? Uh, Amina would do this uh, professor oh, from whatever yeah. university who, who, who insulted uh, our Prophet Ibrahim oh, alayhi salam, oh, calling him uh, a deadbeat dad. Well, so Allah. she's the one who. No, did, Ibrahim. Yeah, Ibrahim alayhi salam. She called him a deadbeat dad. Astaghfirullah. 
but she's the one who did the mix a lot and stuff like that and she was in the news super feminist yeah, she got like a little mustache <laughs> you know my big my bigger problem of the men among the muslim yeah yeah my biggest problem is not that woman up yeah, front the one who fall, fall most of them are delusional so i'm saying that she she's up front she's delusional the men who are the men behind That's her simps is alter simps guess because, what the, uh, the people she leading this a lot, not all Muslim back then. Yeah, well, mm. I, I don't know how how they can maintain yeah. their faith. Yeah. It is the system. It is, yeah. it is the system, bro. Yeah. The system will never let you uh, prevent this. Yeah, yeah. It is the system. There, there is a man. I'm like, I'm absolutely uh, like hundred uh, percent sure that there is a lot of real Muslim men in Germany and in Berlin itself, but uh, they can't do anything about it if they do they will be like they will be shipped back to their countries or they will be in jail for long years so yeah. they, they, they they will never do that so the one who got uh killed by the shoes he's still stuck with the shoes thing <laughs> is it like one shoe like forget it man i don't even think about it i george. imagine a bunch of high heels <laughs> george bush <laughs> yeah. a bunch like of a bunch of pumps stilettos uh, red bottoms yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all they had yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, who, who went to the shoe store? That's a lot of shoes. Nice. So, so you know how they bring a bunch of stones? Yeah. They bought a bunch of shoes. <laughs> you get a shoe and you get a shoe. Well, well, here's another thing because we also have a lot of so called. He has a jacket. <laughs> to shoes. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> <laughs> they got stuck with that like shoe on, story. Autopsy. Death by shoe. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, 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 hey. At, uh, le at least they did not do this. Beat them. They did not do that. Put them on donkeys and make that, them that drive up and down the road you know. for 40 days. So, so <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. Yeah. But but here's another thing. The frustration comes when we have so-called celebrity imams or the shiuch and the, the people, the so-called well-known people in America, that they also pedestalize women, right? They always blame the guys, blame the men. Even their advice, a lot of the time, that the guy always had to take the fault. The guy always had to sacrifice, whether in marriage or in divorce. The guy has to basically, you know, suck everything up. Yeah. But the, but for some reason, never tell the sisters, no, you need to feed Allah, you need to also follow the deen, not to go to that route, not to do that for the sake of the children, or for the sake of the husband. But I see it all the time that, that there's some situation that that is not fair against the brother, but they tell the brother, just it's okay, suck it up, you know. Let, let, me, let me sip a little bit. Women are wonderful. Yeah. Allah Ta'ala tells the Quran so, of the zina of this life. Yeah. Women, number one. Yeah. That men covet, it, right? I, I, so, so I'm saying that women are wonderful to who? Men. Yeah. Women are wonderful to men. So no matter how anti-women, some, some people say, oh, these discussions are anti-women, yeah, red pill, yeah. manosphere, anti-women. No, nobody's anti-woman. A, a woman is a wonderful being yeah. for a man. Oh, we love women. Created, love women. created for who? <laughs> woman was created for who? Men. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Okay. So, so therefore, women are a wonderful creation for men. All we're asking, be the woman. You do the woman part, yeah. and when the door starts shaking, <laughs> the knock, let me. I'll do the man part. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. but but let's not. Let's do role play. You know, I I, I I'll be the construction or the plumber knocking on the door, <laughs> come to fix your pipes. Let's do role play. Let's not do role reversal. Yeah. Because role reversal puts you in a masculine frame. Yeah. You try, it tr tries to emasculate me. I'm going to resist that. Yeah. yeah. And that's where the uh, nashaza happens, you know, yeah. in the shoes. What are you saying? Is it like this? Nashaza, then the shoes. Shoes. <laughs> 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 shoes. <laughs> New shoes. Allah, <laughs> inshallah. Okay, so the let's, shoes let's... deserve shoes. <laughs> that's a new brand. The shoes. New shoes. <laughs> grab it, grab it. Let's make a business out of it, you know. Yeah. Start selling it right now. New shoes, you know. Yeah. That'd be nice. Are so, you ready uh, for the next one, guys? Yes. Go yes. ahead. Which is uh, okay. There is uh, there's another hadith. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Umm Darda. You know, Umm Darda was uh, was Sahabiya, mm -hmm. which is Zawjat uh, Abu Darda, which is another Sahabi. Okay. One of, one of the prophet companions sallallahu alaihi wasallam she she used to say hadathani sayyidi this is one this hadith in in muslim which is hadith sahih 
حدثني سيدي أنه سمع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من دعا لأخيه بظهر الغيب قال الملك الموكل به آمين ولك بمثل ولك بمثله which is in uh, in Muslim under the number of uh, 2732 in Sahih Muslim uh, what what catch me here and how the uh, how the seculars uh, explain it which is حدثني سيدي Yeah. I've been told by my master, or Sayyidi can like it can be translated in a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, the leader, the the master, yeah. it is something like uh, uh, like a leader, or Sayyidi or master. Let the literal translation is master. And uh, who she meant by Haddathani uh, Sayyidi? I've been told by my master or by or, or by my leader. She was talking about her husband. She was talking about her husband. That gives you another idea of how the 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 Sahaba uh, uh, wives was talking to them, even with, with, when he's not he not not there. And uh, Imam <coughs> Nawawi, in uh, in the in the explanation of uh, the interpretation of uh, Sahih Muslim, she says, "Qalat haddathani Sayyidi ta'ni zawjaha. She meant her husband Abu Darda. Uh, and there, there is another uh, the, a lot of women like will will tell you well that's hadith that's not quran okay in quran in surah yusuf which is uh, verses 25 uh, 25 what did god say when he was uh, telling the story of prophet yusuf he was talking about the uh, uh, the, the wife of uh, the the egypt of uh, the egypt ruler yeah, yeah. Aziz, said, yeah. they, they, they found they found aziz masr yeah. they found her her husband which is sayyidaha yeah. sayyidaha it's under the same word which is sayyid sayyidaha mm-hmm. lad al-bab in in the tafsir you will find sayyidaha ta'ni zawjuha it means her husband, husband yeah. that's that, that's the quran language if you don't yeah. like it in, in in hadith what do you think guys <laughs> Allah. they they are the toxic uh I, I can I can hear a modern uh, beta male and a modern w- woman feminist you know mentality say that that's toxic. Yeah. But th- this is the way those Allah described you know uh, the Aziz over his wife. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. That's the way that that Sahab, sah- uh, Sahabia you know she saw her husband as Sayyid you know uh, above her. Now if we look at the Hadith where Rasulullah was approached by a woman. And she said, Ya Rasulullah, my father is ill. May I visit his sick bed? Mm-hmm. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, what? What did, your, what did your husband say? The woman was married. Yeah. What did your husband say? Okay. He said, well, he told me to stay home. So he didn't stay home. Then the father later on passed away. She wanted to attend the janazah. She came back to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, Ya Rasulullah, my, my father passed away. Now, now it's even more, you know, deathbed. Now it's even more critical. This is his janazah, the last rites, right? So he says, what did your husband say? Yeah. My husband told me to stay home, then stay home. Someone would say that is the most toxic yeah. of masculinity. To obey your husband. Guess what else? Those that don't can go to hell, literally. You know what I'm saying? This is the message of Allah Ta'ala to put priority of the husband over the wife. That yeah. much priority. Some say that is toxic. Oh, what a beautiful toxin. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful toxin. That's how societies are built and, and, and stay strong. Yeah. You know, children grow up without being emotionally disturbed and traumatized when societies are like that. Yeah. You know, so alhamdulillah for toxicity. <laughs> yeah. For real. Well, again, it's coming from the man <clears throat> feminist ideology. See, that, that's the problem. That's the toxic is there. They, they, they're they viewing things from that kufr perspective. And of course, it's going to be false. Yes. It's not going to pertain to you. Uh, maybe it goes to your hawa, to your desire, but... But like Coach Karim said, this is in the evidence, this is in the Quran, this is in the Hadith, this is in the Sira. You know, how how much do you want to read and see? Clearly, it's there. But they still want to make yeah. an excuse. No, it doesn't work. Time has changed. Just try to deflect it. Yes, yeah. deflection. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have another I have another Wait, one, ahead. which is which is if you if you don't mind, Yusuf. No, go ahead. <coughs> it is the hadith. Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. ألا أخبركم بنسائكم من أهل الجنة. He was talking to Muslims. Yeah. And uh, 
I might uh, like, do you want me to tell you about uh, your women who entered Jannah? Uh, uh, Sahaba says, yes, like, please tell us. He said, Al Wadud, Al Walud, Al Aoud, Ala Zaujiha, Al Leti either Adat, Au Udiat, Jaat, Hatta, Tahudu, Biat Zaujiha, what Tumatapul, Wallahila Aduko Ramdan, Hatta, Tarda. That's in Sahih al Jamia under the number of 2604. Uh, which is al wadud which is uh, which is most compliant and friendly uh, al walud which is the most fertile who like uh, get uh, a lot of children for for the man allati uh, idha adat aw udiyat that means that means if she did a mistake if she hurt her husband or he hurt her so the mistake can be by her or by her husband because a lot of Muslim women think that uh, he should he should uh, he should apologize uh, for me in front of people because yeah. he did mistake. No, he shouldn't. Why? Prophet Muhammad says, "Lati idha adat aw udiyat." That means if she got hurt or she hurt her <laughs> husband, uh, uh, he she will come and and took her husband's hand and says, "Wallahi la aduqu ghamdan hatta tarda." I swear. I will never get to sleep until you be satisfied, until you forgive me. Yeah. Right. So she will she will try to satisfy her husband, to apologize from him if she got hurt or she she hurt him. So whatever who did the mistake, you have to uh, you have to apologize or to, to ask him for uh, to smooth the water, you know, to fix the things up before you sleep. That's that's the prophet. That's hadith sahih. If you like it, if you don't like it, that's how is it. <laughs> yeah. If you don't like it, you, you know there, there's, a, there's, a, there, there's an advice uh, from, from 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 a longer uh, hadith, but but there's an advice that before you lay down at night, forgive, you know, forgive, mm -hmm. and don't go to bed with any grudges, mm -hmm. right? Imagine in the home, in the in the very same bed. Yeah. In the same home, in the very same room, in the very same bed, yeah. you're going to bed with grudges and frustration and things like that. But outside of the home, we are told to forgive and to, uh, you know, let leave off the grudges, so and, and lay down. Don't go to bed with that grudge or with that yeah. with that hard that hard heart or, or, or angst, right? Yeah. But in the home, in the marital home, how much more incumbent is is it upon us to make peace with our spouses? You know, very how much more? And it's not just the woman capitulating toward the man or the man leaning her way. It's not like that. It's it's the balance. And and that's all that we're calling for is the balance. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't produce the, 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 the war that's going on. This is a governmental systematic war that, that you you have process. empowered you have in, uh and, and see this this is what when we when I said this society's built on what's society built on compromise and not yeah. justice. Yeah. yeah. This is the problem. Uh, the 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 Yahud, you know, were oppressed by Hitler, despite what the, all the other stuff is. Okay, they were oppressed by Hitler. Okay, now how do you write that? You oppress somebody else, yeah. you become the Hitler, right? You become the Hitler, and you oppress somebody else. That's not writing the ship. See, a part of Germany should have been carved out for them. You know, if, if that they want to actually, you don't you don't offer them uh, Uganda. And they, they, they turn it down. We don't want to be in Uganda. Well, how about Palestine? We'll take it. You know what I'm saying? This is what happens. So the, the problem is that uh, if women are being oppressed and, 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 and they are the creature of protection, we agree. Women should be protected. It's in the Quran. Okay? Women are the creatures of protection. That's why we are called Wamun. We're the protectors and maintainers, right? So we agree with that, right? But don't give them more power over us governmentally and systematically. You're not right. righting the wrong. You're making another oppressor right. yeah. outside of their nature. Yeah. You're making an oppressor mm -hmm. that's that's outside of their nature. Now they have to act outside of their nature, and we're calling for the fitra to be returned, or for us to return to the fitra. They, both... They'll tell you that that that, that is excuse <coughs> for for uh, for a, a bad uh, bad woman behavior those days, because women suffered a lot like two thousand years ago. So now I'm allowed to do whatever I want. In Kufr like society. Any, 
without anybody in, anybody's checking me out hmm. it it like it literally sound to me like if i says uh, uh, yusuf beated me so i will now take your uh, take your car uh, yum yum. yeah <laughs> you know i will take your car why because yeah. yusuf beated me two weeks yeah. ago yeah. what does that have to do with anything yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. like just like to beat you yeah well again any system built on compromise uh if amu amir owes me ten dollars and i only want to pay him five and yusuf steps in and says hey let's make it 750 we're both being oppressed see uh, compromise oppresses both parties the only way to write that is for him to give me my ten dollars I will ask for my ten dollars right now, Yahi. No, I'm just kidding. So, so I'm saying for him to give me my ten dollars is the way to write that. Yeah. You know, and him accepting five, he's oppressing himself. Okay. So again, like I said, the the, the, the compromise doesn't produce justice, and we're only asking for the justice because justice is what balance. Justice is actually balance. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. It is like the, those those sim sheikh who 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 can really. Give some, names. Give, names. <laughs> Give some Astrogen, names. Give some names. Give names. Astrogen sheikhs. Astrogen shield. That sounds like a yeah. oh, energy Ast drink. Astrogen, <laughs> Astrogen sheikh. Astrogen <laughs> sheikh, which is uh, like uh, can can justify like the bad sexual behavior for for females, yes. which is they which is they call them ta'ibat. You should never treat ta'ibat uh, or degrade them. Yes. What she did in in her past, and when you when you tell me she did tawba, she did tawba for God, not for me. Yeah, exactly. I I do not accept tawba or reject it. I'm not God. I'm I'm a regular person. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if she did tawba for the God for Allah, Allah might accept it. Allah might reject it. It is like the God decision. You did tawba for Him, but for me, I do not accept. A female with the, with a bad sexual past, so the a lot of a lot of uh, estrogen sheikhs, sheikh simps, they will they will they will tell you like uh, about the, about the compromising, like it is. Uh, you don't need woman with a with a hundred body notch count. Okay, take one with 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 fifty. <laughs> no, no, I don't need one with fifty. I don't need one with hundred. Like, no. like, I need I need a modest woman, like like. Imra <laughs> Tahira, yeah, which is pure, like pure. mostly with, with, without any marriage. Is she supposed to be a virgin? Yeah, I know I'm asking too much nowadays, but it's she's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I like when he says no. Yes, <laughs> confidence. Yeah, well, well, you, you know very well the story uh, of the man who intended to marry a prostitute during the time of Rasulullah. Now, in all indications, she became Muslim. You know what I'm saying? She became Muslim, but. When, when, when the man introduced to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the idea of marrying her, he said, do not marry her. Do not marry her. And the reason was because she was a prostitute. You know, don't I, I don't know this, this story. If you can send me a reference yeah, for it. Yeah, I'll uh, send it to you. Uh, the, 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 they, they were, this, this man was known to transport people from, I think, out of Mecca. He was, he was in that type of business. Uh, and, and, and there was a prostitute that he you know, wanted to marry. And like, like I said... Her past mattered, you know. Of course, you know, her past mattered. You know, people might say, "Well, what, what about her the ability man? for bonding? Her yeah. ability for bonding? We know that from science, from like a psychological yeah. and scientific point yeah. of view, very well. I know that very well. I read like a lot of studies on uh, uh, on the sexual, uh, the sexual past, the sexual behavior, and how it does affect the uh, the female psyche, and like woman with multisexual partner." She lose her ability to long term bonding, like emotional yeah. bonding on long term relationships. She lose that, and women. A lot of women knows that, but they don't want to admit it. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. That's like that's what irritates me a lot. Like when you when you show her the studies, like look in this study that they have half million. Like in uh, Nicholas Wolfinger, the the professor psychologist from Utah University he okay. did a 30 year data experiment uh, like he got the data of, of 30 year of females and males and he uh, and he did a huge study which is uh, predicted that 
multi sexual partner it does affect the uh, the 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 female future in the relationship <clears throat> and who have the best most happy relationships do you know who who was that the virgins yes, yes. and it was around 5% of the whole sample of the like the millions that he that he tested it was 5% i believe it's 5% because he live in utah like if <laughs> you go down to, to miami it will be minus so <laughs> he found he found out that who have the best like a uh, uh, long term marriage with with happiness and they did not get break up the virgins like no sexual past is the best option that's it science says that and by the way in sira prophet muhammad acknowledged that when uh, when uh, <clears throat> there is two hadith in one hadith he says alaykum bil abkar which is you should choose uh, virgins <clears throat> عليكم بالأبكار فإنهن أنتقى أرحاما وأعذب أفواها وأقل خبا وأرضى باليسير. and he start like mentioning the the features of uh, of the virgin herself. that's why she's better. and there's another hadith which is uh, uh, سيدنا جابر one of the sahaba he came and he said uh, 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 I got married to a woman from Ansar. he says أبكر أم ثيب. he says you got a virgin or previously married. He says, uh, previously married. And he said, why don't you get a virgin? This question himself, like this question by itself, explain you that like he was wondering, like, why didn't you get married to, to a virgin? Like, why you chose previously married woman? And he explained the exceptional like circumstances that forced him to choose uh, the, uh, the, uh, the previously married woman. And uh, in fact, he, you, he had... Uh, like many young sisters and his father passed away, his mother passed away and he needs someone to take care of them. So he needs a little bit older woman with, with experience, like to take care of his younger sister. Mm -hmm. Then Prophet Muhammad said, okay, like, like that's in this situation, this is a good case. Like this is a good choice. So what is the standard and what is the exception? You know, the, uh, in the old language, I don't know if you're aware of this in the old language, any 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 man that 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 was intimate with a woman, it was said that he had knowledge of her. They would actually call it knowledge instead of using jamal or you know intimacy or sex. They would say knowledge, and and, and imagine a man with a woman, that that's knowledge. <laughs> that I mean you you know her yeah in, in a way that the the public wouldn't know her. My question to you is this: You ready for it? My question to yeah, you is, God. the body count, wouldn't it differ? Wouldn't it differ from a woman who was loose in society with strange men, random, they call them random men, right? Hmm. Versus a woman that's been married multiple times. Yeah. She went through the, all the processes, the wali, the shahidain, you know, so on and so forth, the mahar, you know. She went through the processes, either they died you know, uh, in jihad or they, they passed away or they didn't work out, you know, talaq, whatever, right? Khula, whatever. Nevertheless, wouldn't that differ? I would think psychologically even it would differ between a woman that actually was pure and actually married and divorced versus someone that is random, you know, just picking out random you know, stray dogs. Okay, let, let, let's agree in the beginning that uh, that woman with no sexual past is the best option. Yes. Do we agree on that? Yeah. No argument. No argument. Okay. The next options: women with this with with a sexual past, like in halal way, and women with a sexual past in haram way. Yeah. yeah. First of first of all, women who've been who've been married and divorced will never ever never ever have any number near the woman who's who's been having sex since thirteen to thirty. Exactly. You got me. So, like, women with haram past, which is, uh, like, she she've been on the carousel, as we say. <laughs> so, uh, she, she will have, like, 50 to 100 sexual partner before. Yeah. Women who've, who've, been, <clears throat> who've been married, she's probably gonna, gonna have, like, one. That's the most probable. Like, it might be had two. Mm. It might be had three. But if a woman like uh, been divorced seven times, that's a big red flag itself. Yeah. <laughs> but you do not you do not need women who've been like who've been 
who failed like with seven different men he ne she never make it with seven different men you can't tell me seven different men all of them are bad you can't no it is you for the audience for the yeah. audience hold on for the audience would that apply to a man i know this is a simple question but would that <laughs> apply to a man like myself, no. they've been married uh, no. 18 times. No, no, man, <laughs> man, 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 is, man is designed to have multi-sexual partner. Yeah. And yes. man is doing that since the beginning of history. That's what like, the have, you, have, you, have, you ever, have you ever heard of uh, Sultan Ismail in, in, the, in the Morocco area? Okay. He used to be, he used to be, uh, he used to be called like by, by Western uh, histori histori uh, historian, uh, Ismail the thirst blood, the blood thirst. <laughs> Ismail yeah. the blood first. He had he had more sons than Genghis Khan. Everybody knows Genghis Khan, but they yeah. don't know about this guy. He have around one thousand twenty five uh, children. Mashallah. <laughs> yeah. Do anything. Hey. That's what he was doing. How do we have time? That's what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, and 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 you, and you hear about uh, and you hear yeah. about Harun. Ra Harun Rashid, you hear about all the great warriors in, in Islam and all the great rulers, such as Sayyidina Khalid bin Walid. He got 40 kids, like yeah. from uh, yeah. six wife and like tens of concubines. Mashallah. Prophet Muhammad himself, he got uh, 11, uh, 11 uh, 9 to 11, depend on the narratives, 9 to 11 wife and more than four concubines. So men, since the beginning of history, they have multi-sexual partner and they are okay with it. Does their biology support that? Yes. Because for, for us men, like, like the sexual relation does not need uh, emotional bonding, yeah, such yeah. as women. Like you can, you can sleep with five women or four women, for example, and your psyche does not got that negative effect because you're changing sexual partners. No. Like in, 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 even, in, even in, the, in the Bible, in the Torah, in the Torah and the, like the Old Testament, it's mentioned that uh, that Sayyidina Sulaiman got uh, got over than uh, two thousand wife. So, I had, I had so a, what? I had a uh, an issue uh, discussing with someone. I was talking about just, just if you look at the organs and the, the reason women have menses and things like that. Well, you have an you have an orifice, internal organ that 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 that, that incubates toxins so once a month it has to shed the uterine walls and get rid of those toxins right then you have a man with a phallus an external it's it's, it's a wipe it's it's a baby wipe you know and, and, and it, it's it's really you know even with, with disease you know even with disease uh these men that are uh the the yags you know, <laughs> tur yes. turn yag around. They're, 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 yay. The you know, these men are rainbow guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fugazi. These, Fugazi. Men, these men are going out doing things with other men, bringing that I back to their wife. Now, I recently, and I, I meant, meant that to say that uh, black women uh, per capita are the highest AIDS victims, you know, it. because of this phenomena of, of some of those men going out, okay, and doing this. But nevertheless, I heard from uh comedian mark norman this guy this guy's a brilliant man it's funny guy he has, has a crazy life history so anyway he was with a woman and they they did the act of homo loot with the woman you know you know so so what happened was uh he felt sick like he had a disease he felt sick like he had a disease he goes to the he's he's when he urinates there's no pain but but he feels he feels bad he so he calls the, the girl, the random girl, right? And he says that, hey, I think you might have something. Is there something you need to tell me? She said, she hangs up the phone. She is so insulted. Really, give me a break. So she's insulted. So she hangs the phone up. He goes to a friend of his that's a doctor. The doctor says, hmm, I tested you. You have nothing. It's possible you have fecal matter inside of you mm. fecal matter inside oh. of your trap your your, your penal you know he has and that's what it was oh my god so, so so a law outlawed a thing right a law outlawed a thing nobody ever thought about i didn't think about i said nobody i never thought about that 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 could actually happen to you imagine 
inside of a woman. Imagine strange, strange guys. Then you have smegma, which is a sticky, stinky substance that grows in the prepuce between the foreskin and, and the, the head of the penis, right? The penis. penis. Okay, so <laughs> that's a carcinogen. Oh, my God. Imagine these random guys. Even the prophylactic uh, condom is not 100%. Think about that. It's not. Mm. You know? Wow. So, so, so what, what that lends to is that societally, you need to be married yeah. and perform jamaah in a halal way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In the halal way. Because you could harm your partner. But if you got a lot of strange dudes, you're incubating all those dudes. Now, there's a study, not, not really a study, it's scientific fact, medical fact, that you incubate other dudes' DNA for quite yeah, a yeah, while yeah. That, that was inside of your womb. Yeah. When you go from one yeah. guy to the next called guy. called womb imprinting. Yes, yes, yep. exactly. Womb imprinting, and then, yeah. then, you, then you hear about the sperm, the, the foreign sperm fighting the other sperm, you know. What? It, yeah. it's inside of the womb. Because inside they do. There's a people. war going on. It's called yeah. jihad al uh, couscous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's called jihad al couscous. I will be a bottle down there. Stop it, man. <laughs> Look at this guy. Stop it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you say, coach? <laughs> that, that is a bottle, a real bottle down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's, it's about, so, so again, like I say, it leans toward what? Marriage. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it leans toward marriage. And, 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 and to keep your body count low, be agreeable, right? Be feminine. And allow him to be masculine and toxic. <laughs> and, and that's how it that's, that's the balance. That's how it's gonna work. I need to be taught my wife, my wife needs to feel protected. Yeah, exactly. You know, a another anecdotal story. My my ex wife, story. when we were married, she was at a gas station. She's walking out, you know, she's with your hedge you know, she's walking out, and this guy says, Are you a Muslim? She said, Yeah, why? He says, I don't like Muslims. She said, Sounds personal. She kept walking, you know. And, and, of course, that's masculine. That's a masculine reply. She shouldn't have replied like that. <laughs> Should have kept walking, right? And yeah. got on the phone with me. So, ne nevertheless, he said, yeah, I was in Iraq. She said, hold on one second. Let me call my husband. Say, so she called me, and I, I'm going I'm going like 190 on the highway trying to get there. You know, I was like 15 minutes. Well, I was at the masjid, which is 15 normal driving minutes. I hightailed it there. I get to the gas station. I don't see my wife. I'm panicking. We stayed five blocks from the gas station. I went home and she was in there just sitting there. I said, what happened? Oh, when I called you, he ran away. <laughs> Iraqi veteran. You know, <laughs> he ran away. But, but but you see my reaction? Yeah. You don't see my reaction? I got that probably faster than the police would. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, but my reaction was that. Perfect. That's toxic. Yeah. Nowadays, they call it toxic. Men need to be toxic. <laughs> Toxically yeah. masculine, yeah. right? Stay because toxic, we got too many boys. soft dudes Toxically walking positive. around here. Got too many soft dudes putting fecal matter inside women's wounds. Too many soft yeah. dudes, man. You know, we need toxic positive mas masculinity. Positive yeah. masculinity is the second. Uh, I believe it's the second. Uh, I was. I think uh, it was the third. Book of of Rolo, Rolo Tomasi. Is the third? Uh, I think the, it was the third. The third, the third one. Yeah, the yeah. third one. By the way, I'm having I'm having him in next Friday on my in my channel. Okay. Okay. We'll watch it, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, and and uh, having in in, in Thursday. All the brothers, Daniel, Abu American, yeah. <coughs> Gabriel, also. Okay, okay. okay sure. Invite him too. <laughs> what is the topic? What is the topic? Uh, the topic gonna be uh, the Muslim. I did not say schedule uh, until now, but it's gonna be the Muslim birth rate or the Muslim population decreasing. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Thursday, That's very hot topic, uh, right? uh, like one, one, 1 p.m. Central Time, or what, what time Thursday? It's gonna be uh, probably Central Time. I don't know Central Time. It's gonna be all the minute. What time? I, I, I have to, I have to know time? All, all of your timings, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all the minute. Uh, I was talking to Daniel today. Yeah, it is 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, Eastern Time. Because right, so right now it's almost 7 a.m. Yeah, it's 1 p.m. Central. It'll be 1 p.m. Central. It's 1 p.m. Central. So, so right now it's 7 a.m., right, Yachi? Where are you at? It's 7 a.m. right now? Almost? It is 7. It is 7 a.m., yeah. In the morning. MashaAllah, yeah. Oh, MashaAllah, you've been awake in the, early in the morning, man. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. I appreciate you uh, coming on. Uh, uh, you can see from the comments, uh, Sister Sister Tammy especially enjoyed uh, your knowledge. She 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 gets tired she gets tired of the tomfoolery. <laughs> 
on, on the uh, podcast. Se Marshall and Paul is some more Islamic knowledge. <laughs> you, you, like usually, females do not like what I say. Oh yeah, exactly. I'm, 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 I'm like I'm unapologetic at I'm the, all. Yeah. Like I say, what I believe is 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 right, regardless of your feeling. Like yeah, I don't care about what people feel. That's why the, the vast majority of, of, of my followers like uh, is, is men since five to six years. Mm, like, okay. The vast majority of them, like less than 5% is female, actually. Mm, okay. And like uh, the, 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 the comments, like <laughs> usually, usually it's, uh, it's cursing yeah. or, or bad mouthing me. Yeah. <laughs> that's the vast majority of them. So I know, I know because that's my my main my main audience i'm keeping it real i'm keeping yeah. it 1000 i'm telling you the truth that i believe is the truth yeah which is uh, uh, which is uh, I'll, I'll try to be objective as much as i can and i support my uh, like uh, brother yusuf no i have the studies store in my uh, in my website that you can that you can enter and find all the resources like study by study yeah. uh, uh, the proofs for what I'm saying, I'll yeah. try to tell you as uh, to be as objective as I can. So, uh, is if obj objective truth hurts you, I don't care. Like it's not about your feeling, man or or girl. It's not about your feeling. It's so, about so, objective yeah. truth. That's real. That's you know something. what? You know what the irony is? Yeah. The irony is, there's a sister in the room. Uh, I'm, I'm embarrassed her. Uh, <laughs> Sylvia Sumter. Call her out. All, all, all of these things that we may come across as negative that we say about women don't apply to her. She's traditional. She's she's a good woman, good wife. You know, she's a traditional woman, mashallah. You know, it, it doesn't apply to her. So that type of woman wouldn't be offended because she, she doesn't fit in that niche. She doesn't fit in that category. Yeah. You know, she doesn't fit there. But the women that are triggered, yeah. they're seeing themselves. You're holding up a mirror and people don't like that mirror, especially if they put their makeup on yet. Yeah. <laughs> because they look like too yeah. much. I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yesterday, yesterday on my on my podcast, uh, I'm sorry for that. No, yesterday okay. on 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 my podcast, like uh, I got one question from one of the the guys who was watching, he told me like why why there is there is a lot of females who get triggered when men talk about like physical beauty. Yes. So like, do you, do you know who's like who's really getting triggered? Not all women. There is a type of woman who who get triggered, like the ugly the the ugly fat females. <laughs> those guys who get triggered those, are my favorite. <laughs> those guys who get triggered when you when you speak about beauty like if you if you was if you was describing like uh, like the good shape woman like the good shape is is feminine it's beautiful it is attractive like who get triggered and tell you that's body shaming that's fat shaming i don't care <laughs> like women in shape are more attractive i don't like aircraft carrier size no <laughs> thank you what is it? What is it? Bus? What? Plus size? Bus size? Bus size. Yeah, there's a plus size and there's bus size. And there's two <laughs> po like two, two size of the bus size. The, 20, the, 27, uh, the, the 27 passenger yeah. and the 50 passenger. Yeah, you, you, you got the, the mental the mental bus. It's a smaller one. Say, say the, uh, I got fat shame outside of Juma like a few Jumas ago. <laughs> the brothers kept touching my stomach. What? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brothers, kept, brothers will leave us to and touch my stomach again. I'm like, it's like they got together and had a short on me and conspired <laughs> to shame me, you know. But you're not really fat. Uh, no, you're, I'm, you're not, I'm not really fat. Not really. <laughs> so stop treating me like I'm a, a, bu a bus size. Belly, man. Yeah, but they, the brothers were touching my stomach. We would talk, they said, and they touch my stomach and leave. I'm like, <laughs> brothers, they, they this is some type of making a wish. Some, yeah. some type of superstition <laughs> stuff in law, you know. Yeah, it's great. So, so they fat shamed me that day. I went home and told my wife. I said I need to lose weight. Is that why you came? Yeah, back and it, like, like you know, a th a three three hundred pound woman will will tell you like uh, I'm curvy. No, you're not curvy. <laughs> you're not curvy. You, you, you're you're a school bus size. No, you're not curvy. Curvy like a water park. <laughs> well, he uh, Coach Kim is lucky because he did not see Lizzo's video. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna throw up. <laughs> hey, 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 don't underestimate Coach Kareem. He's hip. <laughs> I heard him recite some rap lyrics the other day. Man. He was on a he was on a podcast. He's recited some rap lyrics. I said, "How did he learn that?" <laughs> yeah, so I mean, so he's he's not out of the oh the WAP. Remember you talking about the WAP? Oh man, yeah. yeah so the the what? The WAP. 
the woman, uh, I, I don't cook, I don't clean, I got the ring, remember? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I remember that's that. Ca- yeah. That's Cardi B. That's yeah, Cardi yeah. B. Yeah, so, so he the name her, of the artist and everything. Was, well, it's her not artist. Was, was recording her, yeah. Was yeah, recording tr- her, like, woman, yeah. Uh, cleaning. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, do, do not, do not, do not uh, lie, lie to women. You yeah. cook and clean, like. Yeah, do not. She doesn't do that. She cooking and, and, and she looks, yeah, no offense, but she looks like you without makeup. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Somebody, she had a mental breakdown and, and she went to she the have mall. have a beard? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> no, no, no. She had five o'clock shadow. She's but, 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 five o'clock no, shadow. She, no, no she, she had a mental breakdown and she went to the mall walking around with a turban on her head. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. And, 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 and she looked like the brother at the convenience store <laughs> down the street. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like without yeah, without makeup. Yeah, check this out. Check this without out. makeup, it was crazy. I looked up a picture yeah. of Ismail the bloodthirsty or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> like you know that's Joker. That's Joker. <laughs> it looks like Sidi. That's Joker. Oh that's god. not me. That's Joker. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Subhanallah. <Yeah. laughs> so Alhamdulillah, ya, inshallah. Um, I thank you. Thank you for coming on. I didn't know it was that early where you were. SubhanAllah. So this is well, a, that's okay. That's okay. It's, a, it's a great favor, mashallah. You know, and, uh, and yeah. may, may Allah reward you for the truth that you tell. You like, even though you say it's from your perspective, facts are facts, and facts are universal. Mm. Yeah. Facts are universal. So it's not really your perspective. It, it, it's the hawk coming from you. And if you do so, then that 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 puts you in a different level than. Everyone else, you know what I'm saying the, the run of the mill individual. Oh my exactly. god! Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, Coach, Coach Kareem, if, if you didn't see it, you can't I, I, see I, I, it. I, I, I want to see it. You gotta get it. If, up if you can see it, <laughs> yeah. Just show, show the brother, inshallah. That's her without makeup. <laughs> I don't look like that. I'm, like, I'm more handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more handsome, guys. Come on, look at it. Like, like, no, no, it almost looks like it almost looks like a joke, right? It looks like a lie. If you see yeah, her yeah. with makeup, the makeup yeah. makeup is the khuda, right? It's the deception, you know. So that's her without makeup, you know. That's yeah. her without makeup, mashallah. So she she don't cook, she don't clean. <laughs> she don't look she like can have the ring. <laughs> yeah, she, she look like a. A removed spleen. <laughs> anyway, so so so. Nevertheless, alhamdulillah. Uh, thank you for coming on, Yaki. Uh, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Uh, this brother starts complaining. Allah, Allah, thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, mashallah. So I, yeah, I, I hope you, I hope that the audience uh, uh, hears the information and, and and just just let it marinate. Let it marinate. Let it soak in. And and then after that, then you know uh, reply. You know, then respond to it. Let it soak in because a lot of times. Anything that seems anti-woman, people are totally averse to it. Half the men are, and 90% of the women are totally averse to it. And it's not anti-anyone. Yeah, it's not, it's not anti-anyone. It's pro hoc. You know, yeah. pro hoc, you know, the hoc, like the brother said, one brother said that the hoc is not always soft. Sometimes the hoc will break your neck. Yeah. You know, yeah. sometimes the hoc will break your neck, and the hoc is not always soft. That's not even the Most nature. Most people can't handle it. Most people it, can't handle it. They can't. They can't handle it. So, yeah. mashallah, alhamdulillah. Uh, Coach Karim, do you have anything else, inshallah, you want to, mashallah, you shared a lot of evidence from the, from the sunnah, from the deen. Do you have anything else, inshallah, you want to share? Uh, let me, let me check this out. Okay. Mm. There is, there is the last hadith, which is, uh, which is the most heavy on, uh, like on modern day females, which is, uh, it's a story and there is a hadith in it, which has uh, uh, been uh, narrated by, uh, Al Hasin bin Muhsin, that's Sahabi. Hasin bin Muhsin radiallahu anh, and Amma Lah, which is his aunt. His mm-hmm. aunt came to Prophet Muhammad. Atat lil Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, fi hajatin fa faragat min hajatha. She, she, she asked him like few questions and she's done. Okay? Faqala lah al Nabi. Then Nabi asked her, asked her back, Adat a zawjin anti? Like, uh, do you have a husband? Are you married? Like after I ask after uh, after the, she got everything answered, I are you married? And she said yes. Said kaifa anti lah? How do you treat your husband? She says ma aluhu illa ma ajaztu anh. That means I will obey him except the things that I'm unable to do. <clears throat> so like to the extent that I can't. So he said fanduri aina anta ani aina anti man. فَإِنَّمَا هُوَ جَنَّتُكِ وَنَارُكِ 
That's in Sahih al-Jami' under the 1509, the number of the hadith. Sahih al-Jami', which is Sahih. فَانْظُرِ أَيْنَ أَنْتِ مِنْهِ فَإِنَّمَا هُوَ جَنَّتُكِ وَنَارِهِ Like uh, he's, he's telling her, Undhuri, which is mm-hmm. like keep looking, which is take under consideration, where are you from your husband, which is like in, you are in which situation, is he satisfied or not? فَإِنَّمَا هُوَ جَنَّتُكِ وَنَارِهِ That means your husband is your hell or your heaven. And that's a metaphor for like in his hand, it can be a recommendation for you to go to Jannah. It, it can lead you to Jannah and it can lead you to Jahannam, which is Nar, to Jahannam. That means if he's satisfied, that will lead you to Jannah. If he's this less not satisfied, that will lead you to, to, to Jahannam. Mm-hmm. And that's like the most heavy hadith on the modern day women. That means the key of Jannah and Jahannam is in your husband's hand. In, an, in another hadith, Prophet Muhammad was uh, uh, was asked by uh, Sayyidatna Aisha, radiallahu anha, she was asking the Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man akthar nasi haqqan ala rajul. Who got yeah. almost all, like who got most rights over the man? He said, ummuh, which is his mother. Mm. And that's for man. Let's put it aside. She asked, uh, what about the, the, the woman? He said, her husband, <laughs> not her father. Not her mother, wow. not her ch- children, not her sisters, not her brothers. The husband mm-hmm. have the most right in woman's life. For the man, no, it is not this. It, it is not the uh, the female. It's not the uh, sorry. It's not the wife. It is his mother. Mm-hmm. That means, like it's it is so stupid for you as a as a woman to let man decide between you and his mother. Yeah. Because a good Muslim, he will choose his mother directly without hesitation. If any female on this planet put me in the position to choose between her and my mother, I will kick her to the curve within a second. Every time. No, no, my mother. And if a female chose anyone over her husband while she's married, Mm. she kicked herself to the curve. Islamically, and from uh, Islamic marriage on institution point of view, you should not put anyone in on existence over your husband. He have the most right. You know, like when 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 a man when uh, when a woman's father died, she's allowed to do hidad, which is uh, 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 the funeral, and like she can be sad for three days. The grieving, yeah. If if her husband the grieving for three days, if her husband should be three months and 10 days. Why? It's your father. Why? Why just three days? And for the uh, for the husband, which is three months and, and 10 days, which is the idda, which is uh, which is the idda and uh, the, the grievance for, for husband. Why the husband have more than your father? <clears throat> Why, if there's a contradiction between two orders from your father and your husband, you have to obey the husband? Yes. Why? Because yes. he have the most rights. He has more rights, yeah. Prophet, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said it very clear. Do not try to deflect it. Do not try to reinterpretation. Do, do not think to, to find any uh, like a meaning deviate of this truth. So you have to accept it as it is. Like that's the most precious advice that I can give for sisters. MashaAllah. So it, it, it seems it seems uh, the entering the gate into Al Jannah, it seems like Allah has accommodated women a lot to enter that gate. They they can even enter that gate while worshiping in their closet. You know? The man has to go out and earn and, and protect and all of this and things like that. So uh, it's it's not one favor over the other. Allah Taala is is just, right? So what it is, it's the balance again. It's, it's the total balance. Uh, a man fulfills his his role, and a woman fulfills her role. And the woman fulfills her role, and the man fulfills his role. And that's how it works. Allah Taala gives us the example of Prophet Nuh Islam and Prophet Nuh Islam, their wives, who were the wives of righteous servants of Allah Taala, yet they were not even treacherous, you know. Uh, under the roofs of their husband, you know what I'm saying, 
And I, I know more about the wife of Lut al Islam than I do about the Prophet Nuh al Islam's wife. Uh, and, and she was very treacherous. Even Allah Ta'ala gave her a last chance. Leave and don't look back. And she couldn't resist. She sympathized with the uh, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know, she sympathized with them. And this is, uh, she suffered the same faith of them. And, and, and like I said, so you can say, well, uh, I don't know if you heard this before, Coach Kareem. Women say, well, if my husband was this way and that way, I would be more submissive and more feminine. And, and, and then, but Allah Ta'ala gave us an example of two righteous servants, prophets, right? Prophets who what? Their wives uh, did not did not believe and did not support. Yeah. Lot and Loh. Yeah, Lot and Nuh, you know, my son. Yeah. Yeah. So th th this this is this is really, really important. So don't always and, look at and there is another example which is very feminine and Saliha woman, which her husband was Pharaoh himself. Yeah. Asia. Asia. Yeah. Yeah. Asia. She, she 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 never said my husband is a bad guy so I will be a bad woman. No, no, that's not excuse. Yeah, she made she made dua. She she uh of course that was a different sharia, but she made dua against uh, uh, uh for and against her husband. She she she, she did it you know uh, to Allah to Allah. You know what I'm saying <clears throat> her complaints were while in Kunu, You know those were her complaints. Yeah. She she didn't she didn't go out. P people knew her husband. You know outside. They knew the treachery of her husband and you know the evil and the oppression of her husband, but that she didn't gossip on the front step, you know, about her husband with other women. She she gave it to Allah Taala, you know, and Allah Taala, you know, uh, raised her to one of the highest positions that a woman ever earned, you know. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So. Yeah. Before we wrap this up, I have to respond to Sister Tammy here. Yeah. She says I'm I'm a fat woman, but knowing how to to listen to Islamic hadith. And she's she's mentioning that that she's fat and she have a, a, a health issue that makes her fat. Like sister, we are not talking about the type of woman that you are. We're talking about the type of woman who eat like fifty-seven donuts and like fourteen uh, and fourteen uh, chicken thigh every day. Like she, like to control her to control her her weight to lose her weight is in her hand. I'm knocking. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking about the females that have medical issues no, that for, yeah. force them to be fat. I'm not. I'm not talking about this category of women. If you are in that category, you have to understand that we are making fun of females who eat nonstop and they think that I'm. I'm uh, like I'm feminine. No, no. That that's this type of woman that we, what what we are making fun of. Yeah. Not so, someone who have medical issue that force them yeah. to, to to be to be fat. No. Yeah, that, that, that's an issue. Uh, th there is a. Uh... Thank you for clearing that. <laughs> yeah, <clarifying. laughs> yeah. but, but but the issue. Like, like, okay, I, I go. I go to my stomach <laughs> no, because yeah. this is me. My <laughs> stomach is my fault. Yeah. It's really my fault. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. My stomach is my fault. <laughs> uh, there, there's no medical anything except that I'm medically killing myself. You know, snacking at night and things like that. I'm I'm the 42 donut and 35 chicken, chicken thin, tender guy. You know, no, I'm not eating that much. But I'm saying like, <laughs> like this is my fault, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have a condition, you have to eat medically. You know what I'm saying you have to eat medically in order to alleviate that condition. People would would assert. I, I don't know much about diabetes, but I know that you could get it down and even, you know, alleviate it. You know what I'm saying and certain levels of, you know, what they call it, two, three, I don't know, A, B, I don't know what they call it, but type two, to type, yeah, type two. So, so if you're a certain type, some doctors say, if you do this, you'll get rid of it. Some say you can t go from this type down to this type and make it more manageable. Yeah. And you can't say I got diabetes, not to my use of time, I'm talking about, in general. This is, you know, in general, yeah. so in general. So you can't say, because I got this type of diabetes, then, you know, whatever. You can't do that. You can't do that. So again, uh, make sure even if you got a condition, you are not exacerbating that condition. Make sure you're not, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, uh, becoming your own enemy. Yeah, you know because you're still under control. Not like if yeah. you're if you're like five feet, you can't do anything about it. <laughs> you look at your body. Yeah, he's five six, man. <laughs> right. five, but you have to try. You have to try everything because it's it's your health. Yeah. It, at the end of the day, it's your health. So, yeah, yeah. So you and your body has you rights. Can. Your body has rights. Stomach, your body has a right too. So you have to try whatever you can. 
So, yeah. But this is what, what Coach Karim and we were talking about. This is something like this movement of so-called, uh, what is it? Fat shaming, whatever, and the yeah. pride about being fat. Yeah, yeah. body shaming. Yeah, this, this, this yeah, is he, a, he just showed a, he showed a picture of Lizzo. I don't know if you know that rapper, that, that, that singer, rapper. What is she a rapper, right? Uh, she yeah. became. Her name is Lizzo. Uh, I the, the plus size models. Plus, that's not plus. plus, size plus. Size no, that's multiplication. That's not plus. <laughs> yeah, they're not plus. They're they're bus size. Bus size. Yeah. So, so Yusuf, Yusuf, before the podcast started, he showed a picture oh, of her. All right? of them. So they have a heart attack. Uh, okay, I called her Negro Shamu. You know what's funny? She looks like a black whale. You know, I, I mean, you, you really shouldn't say that. You know, you know what's interesting with the whole that. fat shaming thing? Yeah. It's like, with this whole type of logic, motivational coaches... They're going to lose business. <laughs> they're going to be <laughs> under scrutiny and, and be called lazy shaming. Well, well, you, you know you know the singer Adele? You know <laughs> yeah, the singer yeah, Adele? Yeah, she, she lost, lost weight. Yeah. Some of her fan attacks her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 yeah. you know, doctors could lose their license Return. by telling their client, yeah. you need to get the weight down. Yeah. This is fat shaming. This is fat shaming. So that's what we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, you know, like Sister Tammy, if you're listening, because she mentioned uh, like in another comment, which is the fat shame. Like, you can't fat shame another person. No, we can. You know? <laughs> No, nobody can can stop it. Nobody at all can stop it. But like we we are doing that. Why we are doing that? Why for 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 females to to understand that this is not acceptable. Yeah, I'm t like I'm talking in generalities here. I'm not talking about like the small minority that have exceptional uh, case. this disease or something like exceptional. Yeah. No, like eighty percent eighty percent of the females in the United States are obese. Not all of them have have, have like health uh, yeah, yeah, problem. Yeah. Yeah. They, and they, they do not. Nobody tells them because this fat, fat fat shaming or body shaming campaign. All women are beautiful. No, it's not. No, no. no not all women are beautiful. No, I I don't need like I don't need a, a tractor <laughs> caoutchouc uh, piece to 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 marry. No, what if tractor? If there's no, uh, you can't you can't shame a shame a man for being broke now too. Let's say that. Well, what, 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 there's short men are rich. There's broke shaming. There's short shaming. Yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah. They shame men all day. Like you're you're a broke nigga. Well, okay. <laughs> so I, I can't I can't say you're you're a fat. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. That was good. Put a cherry on it. That was good. Really? Like, they, they make fun. They make fun yeah. and they shame guys like for everything. For Stop. being broke. Yeah. For being uh, for being short. Like for being ugly. For uh, for living with their mom. Yeah. For not making a, yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. They shame <laughs> men all day, twenty four seven. But if you said you're fat, now it's it's your uh, now it's your mistake. No, it is not, and it's never gonna stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> not a, not a, so i Well, mashallah, it's, it's been uh been very, you know. But besides the the laughter, I mean, it's, it's something that's funny. It's funny, man. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's nature. But 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 the uh, it's been very very mashallah informative. Yeah, absolutely. Very informative. I myself are gonna look back again and, and try to you know because you don't always catch the knowledge the first time. So absolutely. I'll look back again and uh, like I say, yeah, he is alhamdulillah. May Allah reward you for. I mean, uh, coming on this platform, uh, uh, there, there are a lot of brothers, man. If you don't have a large following, they're not they're not even going to might I might not even get Tesleen. Might not I get Tesleen. I, I always support uh, like support the Muslim content creator, whatever type of like their, their audience or their like their volume, like they're big, they're small. I always support all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and this is archive, alhamdulillah. So anybody can go back. Later on, click on it and benefit. Will, will you post it in uh, YouTube? We're gonna upload yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we, we'll, 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 we're, upload we're gonna it. upload it because uh, it didn't take. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I apologize for the technical difficulties when we started. I was trying to get <laughs> certain <laughs> seniority is better than that, by the way. Yes, yeah, see, certain people from third world countries. <laughs> They, 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 they try to they try to make everything like look brother <laughs> we flow, lost the link oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we lost the stream, link. stream yard is better than that Yusuf stream yard is much easier and better than yeah. this uh, software I, I actually I found the problem well, well, when you guys were talking I found the problem the problem was that when I scheduled it accidentally it uh, produced two 
uh, 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 what do you call it? Events. Okay. okay. So yeah. I removed the one of them, which was the in, which was the correct one, yeah. and the incorrect state, yeah. unfortunately. So that is my fault. So that's okay. why. And, 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 and that's why I say third world. Because <laughs> see, the first world, we don't have no problems. <laughs> but next time, next time, we'll be able to set the event. Yeah, well, here's the thing, though, because Saturday. I'm glad that Coach Karim brought some of the evidence. I have a lot of, lot of evidence, too, yeah. but unfortunately, we're not going to have a yeah. time. And, and we're really not interested in your evidence. Really. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, you know, the brother, mashallah, did a very good job. Whatever, man. <laughs> so I have a lot of stuff, actually, from the Quran yeah. that, that describe the feminine quality. Nice. I wanted to go through that, but I don't think we'll and, have and, to. And we'll do it again. It, yeah, we'll touch it in another, yeah. another episode. Part two of the, of, of the femininity from the... Because I went through like... Uh, Two, like two books. One of them was a research paper, was done by a, a sister actually. Yeah, mashallah, mashallah. Uh, in Al Yarmouk University, and like 114 page, very beautiful. Mashallah. The other one is called uh, Nida on the Jins al Latif. That's the calling to the the, the cute sex, which is yeah. the female. So Hukuk yeah. Nisa al Islam, and uh, Muhammad Nasr al Al Albani also made a taaliq on that book. Okay. Of course, there's a lot of stuff, just like last time, but we're not, we're not going to go through all of it, but just the main point. And in fact, some of them, what Coach Karim mentioned was actually in the book. That It goes through the ayat and explains like the ifa and ihtisham and haya, you know. So, 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 so let, let's, let's, let's uh, because it's important. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah. Let's, let's do another one. Whether or not the brother could attend or not, I don't know his schedule. I don't know his schedule. schedule, but nevertheless, let's do another one and go through these because I think this is very, very important. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people, when they discuss masculine and femininity, they don't bring up Quran and Sunnah. Yeah. They don't. Of course, Brother Coach Kareem alhamdulillah, does. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. He brings up, he started with the Sirah, you know what I'm saying? Mashallah. Uh, mashallah. And, 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 he, and he goes into the evidences. A lot of brothers, when, when they do red pill, they basically are, are echoing Kevin Samuels or someone or in the manosphere. Yeah. yeah. Or, 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 they, or they basically are reading Rolo Tomasi's book <laughs> as they're doing the podcast. They don't have a perspective. And yeah. of course, we have, as Muslims, we have our own hadara. We have our own yeah. viewpoint of life, our own culture. So we see things different than, than, than the, the regular individual because yeah. we, we have deen, we have hidayah, right? Yeah. So that, that's why we always have to uh, uh, know what Islam says about masculine, know what Islam says about <sighs> femininity. Why? Because Allah Ta'ala will judge us by yeah. what? Islam. Yeah. And it's so Adino beautiful Nasiha. because last time when Amir was sitting here, he was like, wow, I never really saw these yeah. points. It's and I, I, I think a couple yeah. of sisters from the common, they, they want to see again. So when I went through these two books, I mean, uh, it's almost like close to 400 pages. I'm telling you, man, it is a lot of stuff. You, you'd be well, surprised. Yeah. Like how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not described khayrat or shar, or, or, or the, the good thing and the bad quality, but it also, some of the ayat are very specific. When you when you read the, the, the description from the Quran and the Sunnah, you be like, wow, this is amazing. Because it explains how a feminine woman is supposed to be like. Mm -hmm. So let's try to inshallah cover next time. And Coach Karim, if you can join us inshallah next time, you know. Well, it, it depends. Oh. It depends. It depends yeah. on like what time, what what date. Usually on Saturday we do like 9 p.m. here, which is probably, it's be the same probably time. or yes. your time. Maybe. Early your time, yeah. yes. Oh. Yeah, I'll be early. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, probably, probably. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, well, in a few days, let me know because if you can, we'll. But but ne nevertheless, yeah. we're gonna get the information out uh, to the audience. Nevertheless, uh, in any case, but uh, again, appreciate you, Yahi. Appreciate you. You know, what I'm saying, and, uh, and, uh, and it's hard to argue with the hawk. You know, if anyone has an argument or a correction, then we want to really hear that. You know, because again, as an our, our disclaimer says, we strive to be correct, yeah. although we realize we may not always be right. You know what I'm saying. You know, we strive to be correct, and, and that is the that is the goal of the Muslim to be correct, because you know, someone may have another opinion that you know, mashallah, you know that need, that needs to be heard. Yeah. So again, thank you for coming, Yahi. You know, may Allah Thank you for having me, guys. Thank you for having me. Bye -bye. I like, wish you all the best, guys. And, and thank you for putting up with us, man. We, we, we are we are we are silly. <laughs> and, Very and, silly and, and for the audience, <laughs> for the audience, if you wanna check. Uh, Coach Karim, because he does in Arabic and also in English, uh, uh, the the podcast. Check out his website. Um, uh, his website. Redpillarabic.com. Yeah, yeah. redpillarabic.com. In fact, if you go to redpillarabic.com slash studies dash store, this is where all the, the the research papers, all the documents, all the evidences. They're in English too. I mean, the, the, the text is in Arabic, but inshallah, we're going to have that the plugin to, to switch it to English. You can check all yeah. right there. 
wait, waiting waiting for someone to fix it up. <laughs> for the third country. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, the, the plugin is there. The plugin is there. We just have to switch it, turn it on, inshallah. Uh, All right. That'll inshallah, be very useful before, for me. Before we go through the comments, you're going to uh, give, give our brother this proper with the taslim, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you guys. Jazakallah khair. Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa Alhamdulillah, that was very good, mashallah. So, inshallah, we, we want to always interact with the viewers, so we're going to, inshallah, go through I, the I comments. think the good thing, alhamdulillah, we'll just let him yeah, just yeah, talk. Yeah, no, yeah. Not interrupt him, you know, mashallah. To, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that he used, the, like you said, the seerah, the hadith, stuff like that. Yeah, it's very, yeah. very important. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It's hard to argue because it, it really wasn't his shara, his uh, opinion. Personal, it, yeah. it was, you know, he gave it, mashallah. And mashallah, he has also a background. You know, in that knowledge and experience, yeah. not like some people that want to, you know, <laughs> want to sell a coaching program, right? Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I tell you, you can have me like, you know, I'm that guy. This guy keep laughing about the about the about the shoes, man. When I, when I keep making that new shoes. Uh, and I say and new shoes. I don't even make the connection. He made the connection. I'm like, small. Uh, uh, let's uh, we have, we have to go through the shake a Muslim head, or should we go to a comment first? Okay. Sure. So was it was it Daniel or Danali? Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Alaikum as Allah. Christopher Thomas. Assalamu alaikum. Brother Talib. Brother Talib. Okay. Muhammad Amin. Alaikum as Salaam. Allah. Sister Tami. Subhanallah. I can't work. Talib al-ilm. I can't work under a female. My productivity is better when I have a male boss. Yes, yes. The, the woman is made to be under a male. Naam, naam. Okay. Sister Tami said, Sister Sadiq, nice to meet you. When you said you were like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I, I identify that way, and I, I, I demand my respect. All right. On the titty side. Yeah, you mean the the buffy, the nibbles. Yeah, the buffy nibbles. Yes. Watch out, because yeah. Okay. Uh, see, she said, uh, I agree. Nobody will listen when you yell. Sadly, River sisters many times don't have anyone to help their voice. Well, well. Uh, guess what? Born, uh, raised Muslims, traditional Muslims, also have that. Yeah. Uh, they have that uh, snap back. Remember the Ansar women? Yep. Uh, you know, they, they, they also spoke back. In, in the, it was affecting the Muhajirun. Even the Medina women yeah. were different than the Makkah yeah, women too. Yeah, so, so it's, it's not, it's not a, <clears throat> it's still, uh, Islam needs to, just because the Ansar, we say Ansar, you know, mashallah, the, the, you know, the helpers. Yeah. No, that doesn't mean that behavior was correct. Yeah. That doesn't mean it was correct. Yeah. You know, uh, it, it means that, you know, Islam needs to address it. You know what I'm saying? You okay? Mm -hmm. okay. He's so quiet. He's tired. Yeah. I, 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 you, you must, like, must you be like, that. Uh, must be that. What you was look like about to do a janazah. What, 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 what did we eat today? That your 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 thing. What was the, that? Octopus the, balls. The ramen or the octopus balls? Yeah, the octopus, octopus balls. The, the testicle or the octopus. Should, should, should I be here? <laughs> and he went to a place should called. I be here? He went to a place called Socket Paz and. Uh, Second restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. really good. Socket is the, the the bubble tea, right? Yeah, bubble tea. No, it's okay. Like yeah, food also, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest, but it was. Okay. Yeah, they, they. Yeah, we'll talk about. All right, that later. So, so Sylvia Samter. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, brothers. Salam. The breaking down of uh, gender identity started with the, what people are watching TV. Uh, on Empire, they watch Cookie be a strong, dominant woman. Yeah. So she became their good yeah. idol. They watch these women uh, without love and hip hop. They desire yeah. to be those women. TV, social media, and civil laws have systematically broken down of families and homes. Exactly. 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 Jamie said, I personally feel if uh, us women learn about Prophet Sallam's wives, we would not have so many problems in this dunya. Oh, Alhamdulillah, there's so many books about it. Books about it but but, but you, you know, the uh, Sister Tammy, there is a, uh, a misconception about the Prophet Sallam's wives. Uh, I'm not saying you're saying this, but uh, some people think that they were examples for Muslim women. In aspects, you can say yes, but there's only sunnah that, one sunnah that we follow, and that's the sunnah of Rasulullah Okay, uh, the women came to him for advice. They didn't necessarily go to his wives for advice, and, and, and we don't. And women should not follow the sunnah of the Prophet's wives because why? They made natural human missteps, and if a woman would uh, knock a plate of food from one wife yeah. out of the hand of, of, of a servant or what have you, they will say, well, I yeah, did that. Yeah, see, yeah, see just... you can't adopt that behavior because you can't knock a plate down claiming the Prophet's wives did it. Did, did the Rasulullah oh, wow. do it? 
He had the like at Kana Lakum feed us only lahi usmatu hasana. He had the most excellent pattern of conduct. So 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 there, he had the hasan of khuluk, you know, he had the, the best disposition. So you have to follow his example. And yes, studying and learning about his wives is very beautiful because you'll learn about the relationship that they had. You know, even when they made missteps, you'll find how the Rasulullah dealt dealt with their missteps. And and one time they thought, because he left them for 29 days, mm -hmm. they yeah. thought he would divorce all yeah. of them. Do this nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for 29 days. Yeah. 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 So yeah. they pick and choose the problem, you know, yeah. they pick and choose. Uh, TV, uh, uh, Sister Sylvia, TV used to sign off at night, giving people time to rest. Yeah, used to, used to. <clears throat> all yeah. right, uh, mashallah. Coach Kareem is true leader of Islamic knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Tell me. Uh, brother Sad Sadiq, Need to have Coach Karim on your show more. He speaks with true Islamic knowledge. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Stating that Sadiq doesn't? Yes. yes. No, no, no. Oh, okay. no, 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 yes, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a novice. So all, all, he needs, uh, all he needs is... Uh, beat them and put them on donkeys and make them drive up and down the road. We need the echo of his voice yes. when he speaks only. <laughs> uh, I, I like honest... So we can grow in Islam. Okay, yes, the Dana yes. Sadiq, the mirror is uh, how we learn. Yes. Shukr Imam Sadiq. And then, of course, uh, she made the statement. Yeah, so, I'm fat, but uh, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> how to. I'm fat, but how a woman. <laughs> I'm a fat woman, but how. Uh, but she knows how to listen. I can't even read this because my mouth is very fat. Uh, but <laughs> how. <laughs> but know how to listen to. Islamic hadith without offering? Okay. Yeah, yeah. But do find it rude for me to keep bringing up my weight without uh, knowing my health issues that makes it difficult for me to lose weight. I have been advised to have weight loss surgery, uh, but have seen few Muslim sisters have the weight loss surgery and left Islam. Yes, that's true. After losing weight, it says Islam uh, not to, uh, after Allah. Correction. It says Islam, yeah. Well, well, well the, the issue is don't don't think that uh, uh, them leaving Islam, uh, I don't think they became Muslim because they, they were heavy. Right. Yeah. I, I, I think that they became Muslim for some ulterior motive. Yeah. yeah. And when they lost weight, they wanted to yep. show the people. But, but, but you know, uh, and I love those you have some of the most beautiful women that cover themselves modestly. And only the husband has what knowledge of them, yeah. mashallah. Yeah. And, and and that 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 is a that is a trait of the the women of Al Jannah. That is their trait. Yeah. You know? I feel it's a shameful for men and women to fast shame another person. We don't know the person health issues or reason they don't cut half the stomach away. And of course, well, cut, well, cut well, well you know, check this out, Sister Tammy. Uh, uh, judging is a human trait. Yeah. Every intellectual being judges. Yeah. Who the intellectual beings? You have jinn and you have men. Yeah. Okay, so judge anything that can be sensed can be judged. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if, if I if I if I have my hand under the table and I feel something warm, I can't say that's not warm. Pause. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, 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 I can't I can't say it's not I can't say it's not warm because I feel I shouldn't be judging. What's under the table? Uh, you know, I, th I, th I, th I thought it was shoes. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'm saying like, you know, <laughs> like that. So, so whatever we sense, and sight is a sense. If you see someone that is, that is unusually large or unusually tall yeah. or unusually short, you're going to say short, tall, heavy. That's a judgment that intellectual beings do. Make, yeah. So we don't know the essence Cold. of why that person is that height. Why that person is that small? Just saw uh, a 21-year-old, 20, 22-year-old young lady, right, who was the size of a, a six-year-old maybe, mm -hmm. you know, was sitting at a bar and they refused to serve, but it was old enough to drink by Kufr law, right? It was a YouTube video. Had a brain injury as a child and stunted the growth okay so that that woman is forever going to be in a child's body yeah. you get what i'm saying yeah. you can't say you're short but naturally you say you're short right because she's short yeah the, the, the thing look look the reality 
Yeah, she's short. That's she's the reality. The shame yeah. is like making them feel bad for. But, but no, no, it's about yeah. feeling bad. It's about yeah. when you ridicule is different than than yeah. pointing to the obvious. Yeah, we'll that's you. a camera. That's called camera shaming. <laughs> yeah, but nowadays you can't call a person a midget. I can't. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're not insulting. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not insulting. I, I, I think I can. Say, I think I can. I it's think it's I can a fact. It. It's not an insult. <laughs> but we, I, again, men we're direct. Oftentimes. People are fat. Oftentimes, yeah. people are fat because of bad decisions that they've made. Overeating, Not just bad decision. In, lack in, of in, activity. In, in America, so it's the, like, the, the type of food, this. the fast food, the type yeah, of food, the, the type of lifestyle. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Compared with the other countries. So, so the issue is not choice. When you, when you address the truth, it's the truth. But, but you see, some that getting offended is a feminine trait. Does that, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah, you're going to get emotionally yeah. upset. Yes. Yeah, when I say don't get upset, you, you, you know, you know what? Upset with themselves. I, I, I'm gonna throw this out here. It, it may go nowhere. Uh, was just as bad as people with low self control, which I put myself in that category. Me too. Sometimes. You know, so so yeah, people with low self control or not as much self control they yeah. should have was just that 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 contributes to their weight, right? Okay, was just as bad as those women. That a workout fanatic co warriors like the sister Tammy mentioned, yeah, yeah, yeah. six hours in the gym to lose one pound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh the issue is that these sisters that are these workout fanatical warriors yeah. who walk around basically naked with the leggings and the, the yoga yeah, pants, basically naked, sh sh showing their their dubber, <laughs> bubber, badus, and badas. <laughs> <laughs> They trans that they have a double. Anyway, so so anyway, the <laughs> anyway, so, so, so anyway, so what happens? What, what happens is this. Check it out. That's 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 the other side of insanity. Spending four yeah. and six hours in the gym. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. You know, excessiveness. That's yeah. all it is. You know, so, it's, yeah, it's, that's the, the other side so of the crazy. insanity. And sometimes brothers, like when brothers tell me, "Hey, you still fat?" Oh, cool. Thanks. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work out. Hey, but it I'll, doesn't bother but me. But I'll still marry my daughter to him. Yes. I'll still marry my daughter. And I'm to available. <laughs> so no, and I'll marry my daughter to you yes. and to you. How about it, Pete? What is my take? So <laughs> say, say, give this as the diary. This is the most feminine jacket I've yes. ever seen. <laughs> what female star did you get this from? <laughs> He was talking like a feminine well, dude. Now. Oh, <laughs> oh, hey, you hey, hey, hey. To me, you <laughs> no, for, for real, for real. When he was wearing this today, he was acting a little weird for me. Yeah, yeah, he was acting. Right? Oh, he was acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was kind like of weird, man. Yeah, Girl, man. I was having a good time. I, I wasn't even here. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was here. Anyway, so you shall laugh. Uh, uh, sister, um, Dan Danielle, right? Danielle, Danielle. Danielle, okay. Now tell me, I was a big woman for years. All I wanted was to be small. I struggled to lose the weight once I became confident with my weight and who I who I was. That's when I started losing it. Just remember oh. that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't make mistakes, so love yourself. I said, I'm just like Allah. I ain't going to say nothing. Say, 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 check it out, though. <laughs> g g guess, what? guess what, though? It happens with age sometimes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. younger guys prefer oh, yeah, too. Yeah. Now, I can see a woman, right, that's over 200 pounds. I've seen them and they look beautiful in, in, in that shape. Yeah. They, they, I, I wouldn't change a pound. I've seen it. And I've seen uh, e emaciated women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What does that mean? Big words. Which, which, lacking definition, basically. You know? yeah. Really, there was a muscle. Emaciated. You know? mm -hmm. no big muscle. word. Mm. Well, wait, lacking muscle. Lacking muscle. Mm. Lacking big muscle. word. Mm. So, so anyway, I've seen women like that that I said... That is a beautiful, slim woman. Woman. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Spanish flaca. You know. Mm, you, 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 you'll see it. And, and, and you go from this extreme to this Ooh, extreme. Oh yeah, yeah. And I've seen beauty here, here, yeah. and in between. Yeah. It's about not how much makeup you put on, oh. not not the clothes you put on to cover it. Yeah. Right. What it's like about is that in. being active and in shape. The sedentary lifestyle exactly. is a death sentence. Yeah. You gotta move. Because yeah. fit comes you in different move. shapes yeah. and sizes. It, it, yeah. it, it does. That's why BMI has a place. Yeah. But it is not. Yeah, it's not the 100%. A, 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 a woman in the in the WNBA that's six foot four, six foot eight is not going to weigh, you know. 120 pounds. Yeah, yeah so. she, she's not going to. Yeah, she's going to, yeah. you know. And genetics plays a part. And her, her new shoes. 
Go home, your mother. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's continue. Yusuf Allen remembers when I had my podcast trying to encourage him to Ooh. lose weight and was going to gym six hours a day. Who had a podcast? Not oh, this is oh, one oh. pound. Uh, what about men paying for women to have uh, weight loss? Is this haram? Oh, how is that haram? I don't know. No, no, it's, 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 look, okay, that? now, now, if, if being if being uh, obese, yeah. right, right, if that is a health risk, th th then the surgery does not become uh, what, what do you call that? So surgery, it's, it's, they call it voluntary, but it's called something else. It's not just cosmetic anymore. Right. Yeah. Like, it, it becomes like necessity. I have, I have a client that does that kind of surgery. Yeah. Even they, even, even they say, oh, I'm not going to talk about that, but uh, not to me. But even they say, when I sat with the doctor, that the so called bariatric surgery is like a temporary quick fix, yeah, right? Yeah, but you have to Initial. But guess what? Your lifestyle has to change. Yeah. yeah you you got to change the lifestyle. You got to eat gotta healthy. You got to work up. Because if you don't, what's going to happen? Go the, the stomach is going to expand, yeah. and there's no way to go do the procedure again. Wow, it's a one-time that, that, thing. That's Sister yes. Tammy. Check this out, Sister Tammy. So I, I, I used to do personal training, right, for adults. Then I, I focused strictly on kids and, and sports, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, but because adults, they, you know, sometimes the women and, uh, I, you know, I couldn't deal. I see. So anyway, so, so anyway uh, what happened was that I'm doing personal <laughs> training. The diet that I offered, because you know any personal training going to offer you dietary advice. Yeah, yeah. The diet that I offered was sunnah. One third, one third, one third solid, one third liquid, one third air. That's tight. And, and, and they said, do, because I lost it. Yeah. And I had the, the abs and all that. So I said, they said, uh, they said, they said, do I pump air? What do you mean air? Because they would look on the website and see air. And, and I, they said, what do you mean air? I said, I, I say, listen, the stomach is like a rubber band, right? Yeah. I say, if you stretch it, you increase the capacity of what it can hold. Okay? I, I, I said, the liquid, moderation, right? Yeah. You know, moderation. Matter of fact, a cup of water before you eat is good for you. Okay? Oh, you see? So, 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 so you take the yeah. liquid, you, you eat moderately solid, you know? And my philosophy was that you could eat five times a day and still lose weight. Yeah. You know why? Because I lived yeah, in Morocco right. for a little bit. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They these people, these people look like soccer stars. That's, that's metabolism, too. They, they, no, 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 active. no. but they live in soccer stars, yes. and their main mode of transportation is what? Walking. 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 Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even right. the taxi don't take you right to the door. Yeah. You, know, you, you got to walk. So when, foot, I was, when, foot powered taxi. Yeah. when I was in New York, I haven't seen too many... Uh, you know, it's a cardboard there. box you get no, in. I'm, I'm serious. I'm not having seen too well, many. They, they walk a lot. A lot. A lot, walk, a lot of walking. So, you know? yeah. so again, so, so that that was my point. That's the diet I was. They say, okay, what is your what is your certification in this diet? You're not a dietitian. You're not. Well, Muhammad Sallam, there you I, go. that advice right there is better than anything you can yes. get. You a know, man who's, who's from an infomercial throughout his entire life, his stomach never went beyond his chest. Yeah. You know? Do, do, do you know? Do you know that's one of the fears Muhammad Sallam had of his um my later yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they'll become fat. Yeah. They'll become and, fat. And, look at, look and some at, say it's a euphemism, but some said literally. No, I mean, look literally. at, you know the world's fattest country? What's that? Guess where? America. Wait, oh, per... It's not here. No, 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 it's the... Uh, it's uh, uh, The ratio of fat... Is it Ab Abu Dhabi or... Oh, uh, uh, of course. Uh, no, no, no. Dubai. Dubai. When, when, when you say... Though. When you say... Wait, uh, Dubai. Dubai's not a city. But... Dubai's a city. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's a UAE. UAE. Okay, UAE. UAE. Yeah, whatever. Okay. There, when yeah. you say metabolism, I, I don't pay enough attention to those people. Yo, okay, check it out. <laughs> those people, racist. When you say metabolism, like in Mauritania, your brother told me that the men prefer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some meat on the bone. Yeah. yeah. They they prefer some meat on the bone. I, yeah. Not not quite Lizzo, but. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so my daughter would have to. <laughs> That's like having two wives, right? Four wives, actually. <laughs> All four of them, one woman. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I, I I do not support that statement. Okay, okay. I'm, All right. I'm a simp out. Weight loss surgery. So if you tried everything, there's always an option. You can try the option, yeah. never give up. Yeah. Sister Danielle said that in my opinion, if the weight loss surgery is, is medically necessary, then I don't think Allah Subhanahu wa Taala would look down on you on that. Yeah. Um, Tommy said I would like to have a hadith Islamic view because there is a few hadith read that push me away from the idea. But maybe I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't think that this is a matter of ishtihad. This is yeah, not. This not, is not a. Uh, I'll ask somebody to qualify. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a matter of ishtihad. This is not a matter of a uh, hadith won't say don't have surgery. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no yeah. hadith will say have surgery. Right. We're talking about medical issue. Yeah. 
Yeah. If it's a medical issue, you know, and, and, and let's let's say on your joints, yeah. the weight is hard on your joints, your ankles and so on and so forth, your feet, you know, yeah. then... Yeah, because yeah, like, like my this, this is not a voluntary surgery. It's not cosmetic. It's not like, cosmetic. like my, my client, you know, my medical client, he was saying that there are some men and women that are that's so heavy due to like life, yeah. depression, yeah. medical uh, condition, thyroid, and whatnot, that they can not even exercise. Yeah, they can. So, yeah. so what they do, they put them in this some sort of like a program that they they train, they do some education. Once they go through the operation, they do something called uh, like a like a follow up. There's a before and after the so, uh, uh, post surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pre post and after. After there's actually a class for two hours. Mm -hmm. That after the operation, they have to come like mm -hmm. once a month for like six seven months. To come, follow up, okay, where was your stat, how is it working, but they still have to be active. That means the same advice that you were giving regular folks to stay yeah. active and exercise, they have to go back to that lifestyle. Mm. Does that make sense? So so the surgery, some of the surgery are just initial temporary quick fix, but not forever. Now, that's called uh, an non-invasive surgery. You also have another new technology called like uh, sculpting, whatnot, they use like a... They use the. They, the it, it got the cold sculpt thing. Yeah, they make the, the sonobellum. Make the like, fat yeah. cold. They freeze it. They freeze, freeze it. Freeze the then, cells, then yeah. they break it through different. They're different. I need, I need that. I need. I need. A, yeah. I need like a whole sonobellum. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the whole procedures, you know. Let me step out a little bit. Yeah. If Tammy was my wife, and and we studied and found out the surgery was yeah. allowed, right? Okay, medically sound. Okay, then. I would I would suggest a three month lifestyle change for myself for for her and myself of course you know you got to help you got to yeah, support yeah. you can't just she can't uh, just you do, do it. the work and I'll be you know, nice. yeah, you, you, <laughs> right. you can't have a a wife that's a diabetic and you walking around you know <laughs> sugar, you know <laughs> eating bread and drinking Coca Cola in front of her you can't do it. that's not 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 nice so I would I would say hey give me ninety days of a lifestyle change and we're going to the doctor you know what happened that ninety days. There might be a transformation. Yeah, yeah. there might be a transformation. Uh, uh, of course, the energy is going to go up, and then that makes it even that makes the surgery even safer. Yeah, because remember, the surgery is not yeah. a given that you will survive that surgery. Yeah. You're going to sign waivers. Yeah, and who's to say that they made yeah. that point that that ninety days the surgery may not be necessary? Yeah, Kanye point. White. Well, she, if she's saying it's uh, genetic and so on and so forth, if she's yeah. saying it's that, yeah. then that means that the surgery will be necessary. Yeah, you know, but. Uh, her energy level, her, her qualification to survive, you no know, uh, adaptability to uh, survive that surgery is going to increase yeah. because of the lifestyle change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I tell okay. people that that even if you because you have to be very careful. We don't want to. First, we're not doctors, but what we're saying yeah. is what we're saying is that I, I'm one now. Yeah, yeah. So what we're yeah. saying is that in America, especially, <laughs> they always uh, instant gratification. They want something very yeah, fast. Doctor feel on demand. Everything movies, in a bottle. Bottle, uh, weight loss pill. This one's something fast. That's not life. Walking around sounding like a Mexican folk dancer. With the <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. The pills, everything is in the bottle. Yeah, everything yeah. in a bottle, everything they want fast, everything they want quick. No, no. Life teaches you how to struggle. Yeah. Whether in growing up, whether in. For business. the reward. For the reward, yeah. you have to struggle. Yes. Yeah. Don't you appreciate it too? So there is no fast. How does the sperm reach the egg? Struggle. It's yes. struggle. Yeah. Say? Yeah. So, so what struggle. I'm going to say. Yeah. It took an Uber. Yeah. No. Yeah, so so there is no the there, there, there is no like that, shall I surge prices are crazy. <laughs> so there is no fast quick result in anything in life. Basically. So just make sure that because the problem with anything these, worthwhile. Yeah, even I mean look you have Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, their advertising is so manipulative. Yeah. You have to, it's, it's you have to put the work. That's it. That's what I'm them, saying. Even with them, all they're doing is just giving you food and, food. and everybody's different. Some in six months will lose, some in one year, everybody's yeah. different. Yeah. You know? So, let's go Shaking my Muslim head. Okay, shake my Muslim head. What was it? That uh, Mufti Mink, when he left uh, the Twitter... M M Mufti, Mufti Mink uh, was talking about the don't judge. Don't right? judge, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking about not judging. Yeah. I just touched it when, when addressing Tammy's comment. Yeah. Judging is an, is an intellectual function yeah. of, of intellectual beings. Yeah. So, you know, a person that doesn't judge... Let's pedophiles babysit their children. Yeah. A person that doesn't judge walks in on a pedophile and says, I can't judge you. Yeah. Go ahead Continue. and finish. Yeah. You know, actually, go ahead and finish and then let me have my child. You know? Actually, so <laughs> actually the the concept of don't judge me, it comes from a secular idea and from Christian idea. Yeah. It's not a Muslim thing. I, I say I say uh Tupac 
Only, ju- only God can judge. Yeah, me. yeah. The Church of Tupac. All eyes on me, yeah. right? So, but but it's not all just, gaze on me. Some people get it twisted, like in Islam, oh yeah, he, yeah, yeah, we're not supposed well, to like. Is. We don't know what's in like, another believer's like, heart. Like, like, yeah. right and people yeah. take that and they run with it and they apply it to everything. That's it's what like, exactly. No, like, yeah. I see you do something and you're doing a certain action. I'm a, a set, I'm a see the action and I'm going to judge you based off what you do. You're absolutely correct. But Hassan said that we cannot judge what, what the knee you cannot judge. Exactly. Yeah. But the action you can. In fact, Allah when it says, what? What does Allah say? What is it? Uh, enjoy the good and forbid the evil. Yes, how can you do that without yeah, judging? Without yeah. judging. Yeah, no, 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 look, look. The biggest evidence. At Dinu Nasiha. Yep. That's a judgment. How, how do you offer a sincere advice if you don't yes. judge a matter? I think if you don't if, judge... If, 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 I, if I see you walking, I mean, somebody walking and stumbling... You have to judge just... If, if I don't judge them as possibly drunk, I'm going to let them stumble in the traffic. How do I observe if someone's uh, miskeen? Yeah. You're not supposed to give to them. I think if you don't, if you don't judge... judge you might be rich. rich. No, no, no. The fuqara. Huh. Who are the fuqara? The fukara are the ones you see in need, but they don't beg. Yeah. If you don't judge them, you can't give them the zakat. First I, category of zakat. I if think, you don't judge them. I believe that if you don't judge, you're a hella beta. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Worse, than, worse, worse than that, though. You're not practicing the thing. Beta. Yeah. Yeah. Beta. So, beta. Yeah, yeah. So, judging and, judging and criticizing. See, let's talk about criticizing real quick. Criticizing means to say something good or bad. Yeah. When you have movie critics, critics, don't they go thumbs up sometimes? Yes. It's called still a critic. Yeah. Yeah. Thumb. And thumbs down is also criticizing. Yeah. So it, it's to say something good or bad. People say, I don't like people that criticize. If I nice dress, thank you. No, no, no. You, you're, supposed <laughs> to, you're supposed to hate nice dress. <laughs> that statement yeah. itself is criticism. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, what I, I do... Like when, when, exactly. Especially <laughs> you just judge me. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. I mean, in general, like in general, yeah. uh, when I look at what people say, yeah. I don't judge what they say. I judge their action. That's it, yeah. Like people say, I'm a good person. Really? I look, I mean, they don't act like good. Oh, you, know, you, you just act not like good. Well, sometimes I judge what people say when they say it too close. Like, <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially women, when they say something, I don't listen to what they say. I, I judge their action. So it's, it's one thing to say and one Facts. thing to do. Monkey say, yeah. monkey do. Monkey, monkey do, say, monkey, monkey say. Do. So anyway, Mufti Mink said that we should not judge and so on and so forth. He sound like Tupac. You know? <laughs> But, Shake, but, the, Shake Tupac. but the Daniel made a video and given the see how to uh, make yeah, 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 those yeah. are good videos. So, so like, like I say, this this uh, don't judge is really not something that Muslims should be using. Of course, I posted about it, I've commented about it, so on and so forth. Uh, too we, judging. We, we spoke about it now, and Muslims are going to continue to say don't judge. You know why? It's about how they feel. It's not about Dalil, right? <laughs> I, I used to make a statement a long time ago, Brother Jahannam. I said, I think I feel with no Dalil. <laughs> yeah, because, because that becomes the, yeah. the, the zenith of matters. That becomes and, the apex of matters. How I feel, yeah. not the actual evidences. One, one of the qualities of the believer is that when, when somebody judges you or advises you, you actually become happy to accept it. If you reject it, that's a sign of arrogance. Hey, hey, remember you were judging me? Yeah. I wanted to. <laughs> I, I wanted to get the, the Sunday. Oh, yeah. oh and, 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 I, so I prevented. Cafe. I prevented. He would not let me get the, yes. it's a brownie Sunday. Mm-hmm. Oh, I Very love heavy. it. I love it so much. Heavy. He wouldn't let me get it. Yeah. I, 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 I would be like, uh, give give me the vegan fish. Yeah. And, and, and uh, you know, about an hour after that, give me the Sunday. He said, no, no, no Sunday. Yeah. He would tell the waiter, no Sunday. Yeah. Like that. He was actually helping me. Look at this alpha over here. Yeah. Yeah, he was helping me. But, but I, I mean, because <laughs> you know what? Because yeah. I have my he, shoes. He heard my need. Yeah. He heard my need. He heard my yeah, goal. Yeah. He, was, he supported he was, he was me crying. in that. Yeah. So he had to judge me yeah. in order to support me. You know. Yeah. So alhamdulillah, you know. Yeah. Hey, 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 when, when you see a uh, some some fine, you go. Mm. <laughs> That's judging. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure, Don't judge me. <laughs> Forty dollars. <laughs> That's, That's a judgment. That's a forty dollar judgment. <laughs> Stop anyway. it. Oh, subhanAllah. We almost Is got that it? almost three hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This this guy, this guy hates yeah, okay. when we go over thirty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he hates over thirty minutes. Yeah, exactly. No, but they'd be like, random, too long. <laughs> 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 too long. No, but inshallah, uh, uh, next disclaimer. Too long. Too long. Yeah. Next, next uh, <laughs> Saturday. Inshallah, we're gonna continue of this topic part two. Yeah. Well, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go uh, knock it out like go, one by go one. Go through the evidences. Uh, short, short commentary. I pray that you all give your feedback. Yeah. Something that you need to know. These people did these studies, and you know, from Quran and Sunnah, and they they jotted down their notes. Yeah. You know. 
And, uh, and, and we're going to relay that to you, inshallah, to Allah. So, and I'll have the red kufi on, so sure. inshallah, better so show. So you'll recognize him, inshallah. inshallah. Yeah. And, and, don't forget show. and don't forget to share this. And like I said, uh, I'm not going to say the we. I'll take the fall. I apologize for the technicality in the beginning. Inshallah, next time, Collective. there's going to be a red kufi. Shaking my third world here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you should have a, a hashtag for that. Oh, and we'll make sure next time that it's going to work. But do share this and let us know, uh, you know, if, if any other topics, inshallah, we can cover. And what's uh, tomorrow, uh, Sunday? Exactly. Uh, 7, exactly. I forgot the, 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 the whole topic, actually. You I can schedule it today. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm talking about, you know how they say happy wife, happy life. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I'm going to discuss the that. Dumbest statement ever. But the title is happily marry reality or Maybe fantasy life. happily marry reality yeah. or fantasy going to answer that question inshallah yeah. uh, let me show you how to reschedule event like right here but tomorrow yeah we'll we'll, we'll, we'll try <laughs> we'll cry, inshallah. after yeah. this yeah yeah, inshallah. yeah yeah it's just been ready. all right thank you for viewing amu yum yum the podcast this is amu jorabaya amu yusuf the amu you love to hate and amu amir and Amu Yum Yum signing out. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, let me show how to do it, man. Like, uh, schedule the event. Man, finish the thing, man. Stop trying to, <laughs> stop trying to do stuff. Schedule the event. Stop trying to, stop trying to do stuff. <laughs>